Yeah, I'm doing good. <sighs> Monetization. Good morning, everybody. 
Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on with the chat on the screen. So, this is the second day that it's fucking up. So, I might make a new, um, a new stream. Let me see. Not a new stream, but, um, <clears throat> let me go. Look at that. Share screen. Okay. Starting soon. JTEC TV plays red. Nope. That's not a good one. State of play. Nope. Not using state of play. State of play is definitely not going to be used today. We can, uh, we can just use, um, the stream we used yesterday, sadly. So that's what we got to use. Okay, cool. We're good here. Um, I'll be reading off the chats using the second screen. Again, welcome to everybody that's here. Uh, uh, everybody in the chat. Let me go get the memberships. We're going by levels today, even though we did levels yesterday. But since yesterday was not an official stream, we're going to do it again today. Um, and then tomorrow... We don't go live, but a short video um, of a GameStop review will be posted. Very short video. So let's get started. We have we still have 19 members on the channel. Uh, we have Briarios, which is uh, oh, Briario, Shane, Arnold are all legends. Mike is a hero. Then you have Ice Queen Gaming, VR God V, Ramon 5650. Oh oh. No, Ice Queen and VR, VR God V are both legends. Then Ramoon5654 is a hunter. Viper Reap is a hero. And this is where we get to all the legends. Vegan VR King, MG Warrior, Stardust, Cyber Dragon. Fuck. Cyber Dragon is a hunter. V Vegan VR King, MG Warrior, and Stardust, they're all legends. Oh, there's the straight line of legends. It's after uh, Cyber Dragon, which is a hunter, that we have Rebel Rick Gaming, Gamer Goon 53, True Woody, Enzo, Caleb Kaiser, which are all legends. Then Frostbite Slash is a hunter, and Arcane Head 97 is a legend. So those are the 19 members. I'm going to quickly get to the people in the chat. And I know we're we're running through this quickly because I want to get out of here on time or early. I I got to a part on God of War where I was like, oh, okay, this is awesome. You know, I know that this is, um, you know, I know that about this uh, realm. I've been here, you know, before. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, this is that. And then there's some story stuff happened and then there was a whole different area of that same realm that I didn't even know. And then it was a big exploration area of that area. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> so it's like, this is God of War is a huge fucking game, bro. And I'm loving it. I'm just loving how surprised I am about everything that, uh, idiot ass spoiler, spoiler people weren't able to spoil for me. So it's fucking awesome. Uh, shout out to our frantic animator in the chat, Lorenzo Carlson, uh, Dadley Pierre, Jeff B Gaming, Rafe Adler, which is back with us again. Welcome back, and VR God V. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty much of a surprise to have, you know, to have Jeff in here this early. So I'm already sitting in the chat. Again, we won't have chats on the screen today, and we didn't have chats on the screen yesterday because of some sort of technical difficulties, which I'm going to go uh, and find out today after the stream. I'm going to do some research and figure out what's going on. Um, but the chat should be on screen, but for some reason, they're not doing that. So we're going to have this set up. With that being said, 
Uh, we do have a good amount to talk about. Our main topic is God of War Ragnarok is game of the year. Uh, I had been saying that before the nominations. The nominations confirm God of War is the best game with 10 nominations. Elden Ring and Horizon Forbidden West, which basically came out around the same time. They both have seven nominations. So, I saw IGN say that Elden Ring is right behind God of War when it comes to nominations. Well, that's wrong. You should say Elden Ring and Horizon Forbidden West are both behind God of War and nominations. Since Elden Ring and Horizon Forbidden West have the same number of nominations and both of them are nominated for Game of the Year. So, again, I know people are big fans of From Software and they just really want any and everybody else to win that is not PlayStation, but let's be v fucking fair, okay? Both of those games have the same amount of the nominations. You should not exclude Horizon Forbidden West being right behind God of War Ragnarok in nominations since it has the same fucking number as Elden Ring. You, like, they gotta cut that shit out. First, first of all, the more and more I see, what's going on, Rec? Uh, in a current, the more and more I see of Horizon Forbidden West from people around the community on Twitter posting photo mode images, it is a truly beautiful game, and you know graphics are a main focus of picking if a game is good or not. Just at face value, we're gonna see graphics before we see story. You know, before we feel any emotion to these characters. And, you know, graphically, as far as the standard of next gen, Horizon Forbidden West is definitely up there. It should definitely be nominated for Game of the Year because it is a game this year that pushed the graphics beyond any other game that's out right now. Uh, now... We do have a Plague's Tale, which people told me have great graphics and it's nominated, but I think that was a sympathy nomination. I don't, I do not believe that was like a nomination that deserved it. I think it was like, hey, let's put this game in there uh, as far as the sympathy. We're not going to stack the whole thing with PlayStation games, although they did. PlayStation has two nominations. There's an indie game nominated. There's a Nintendo game nominated. And then there are two multi-platform titles nominated. So as far as PlayStation is concerned, they have two and everybody else, not so much. Um, so it's, it's, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting because we know Jeff Keighley. What's going on, Rebel Rick? Uh, we know Jeff Keighley is, is an individual that really likes to go for the curveball. You think you know what should happen. We know that God of War should win. But he could he could throw a curveball and give it to a Plague's Tale. He could throw a curveball and give it to Elden Ring. You know. We know. And I haven't beaten the game yet. Because I'm still playing the game. I'm still playing the side missions. Everything about God of War is game of the year within the first 20 minutes. Within the first 20 minutes, you know that the game is God of War, worthy, uh, Game of the Year worthy. Uh, within the first five hours, you already know it's Game of the Year. No ifs, ands, or buts. No comparison. You know it's Game of the Year. If you're 10 hours in, you, you, you probably already said Game of the Year. Uh, Cyber Dragon with the $10 Super Chat. Funny thing, none, and I repeat, none of these Elden Ring so-called fans were not to be seen or heard when Sekiro was nominated and then won. Exactly. You know, I don't know what's going on with the Souls series. You know, um, Cyber Dragon knows me. Everybody knows me. I supported uh, Souls games before it was even popular. I was up there uh, playing the original Demon Souls in 2009. I was uh, playing Bloodborne day one. You know, I didn't have to wait two, three years for the hype to expand universally. Like I picked that game up day one. I was on that shit religiously. I got over a hundred something hours in that game. You know. I didn't. Like when Bloodborne came out. Like yes people love Bloodborne. But people didn't buy it. 
people wasn't playing it. This Elden Ring shit is is primarily because so many popular content creators have made a living off of playing difficult Souls games like Dark Souls or even Bloodborne sometimes on live streams and everybody wants a piece of that pie. So they was like, well, we have a, a little bit of an easier Souls entry and it's a new IP. So, you, you know, you don't have to find out anything. So here, here it is. It's, it's Elden Ring. And, and it just got... Elden Ring got so much hype. It was... I truly believe it was overhyped. It was hyped up for many, many years. It was coming for many, many years normal. Uh, and when it finally came, and I got it, I was severely disappointed. It's Again, at the end of the day, it's an open world Dark Souls. That's truly what it is. However, gameplay-wise, graphic-wise, it was severely outdated. Where whenever they really made the game is where it belonged, or maybe it was just already gonna be outdated. But it it is definitely not worthy of game of the year. It can win RPG of the year, but game of the year that's a stretch. We know that the Souls games don't have a heavy story or a heavy narrative. So I I can't honestly sit up here with a straight face and say. Elden Ring is the game that should win game of the year because all the boxes are checked. That's false. That's false. And that's bullshit. Uh, Star Guardian 88. Overpaid and overrated. There you go. Man, see? Wreck, you 31 hours in? I think I might be 40 hours in. I'm not sure. I've been doing all the side missions. I did a couple of crucibles enough to get the armor set. Like, I'm loving the game, bro. I'm loving it. I'm loving the enhanced RPG mechanics that they have. Uh, so many th different things you can level up. I just, I really love everything about this game. The side missions, the new area I discovered yesterday. Um... And I'm, I was up here doing side missions all last night. It's just it's just amazing, bro. It's just, it's just, I fucking can't get over how much it's, how awesome it is. Um, Yeah, yeah, it's, it's fucking dope, bro. So, let me um turn my TV down. I don't want no echo coming through. So, Wreck, you say, yep. Same here. I'm just going through side missions, and I love it. Yeah, man. There's a lot of lore. There's a lot of story. You know, I'm not. I'm not rushing. Look, man. I paid what eighty something dollars for the digital deluxe. What I look like rushing through this game? No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. We're not rushing through the game. <laughs> fuck that shit. I'm going to enjoy the fuck out of this, and I do not want the game to end. Uh. Okay, Shaolin. Man 50, uh, which has been supporting my YouTube channel for a long time. Whenever he can, he's always sending me messages on the PSN. He says, they will take the money out the week it's shipped. I'm glad. Or what is he talking about? I think he's talking about. Hold on. I think he's talking about the VR. My my order VR, uh, my order PS VR two is done. They will take the money out the week it's shipped. Okay, okay, cool. He's talking to me about the PlayStation VR. Uh, I'm excited about it, but I'm not picking it up day one. I'm not dropping that type of money until I'm able to test it out. And uh, chances are, I will never be able to test it out because if I remember correctly, there were no kiosks with uh, play uh, VRs at them at all so um one of the other things is i, I really want to wait for them to have a large library of high quality vr experiences i don't want like the shovelware indie titles that i've been seeing horizon call of the mountain is amazing that's great but is it worth spending 530 dollars after taxes that's what i've been seeing from most people 530 dollars after taxes uh for one experience no, it's not. No. Um, I think the VR headset will be readily available. I haven't heard of any major shortages or anybody not being able to get one. Um, if anything, I've been uh, 
seeing on Twitter that many people that signed up were able to get one and lock it down. So long story short, um, I'm happy that they have the VR. I was selected uh, to put my money down and everything, but I was like, nah, I'm good. I want to wait and see how this thing pans out. I also, in the back of my head, I'm thinking that after the first or second year, Sony will announce that the VR headset is compatible with PCs, and that'll make a lot of people to pick the game, the system. Uh, sorry, to pick up the headset day one looks pretty stupid, because PlayStation's trying to insinuate that the headset is only available for PlayStation Five. They're not saying exclusive. They're not using any of those keywords like only on PlayStation, but they're trying to insinuate that the headset can only be used with the PS5. And as of right now, yes. But as we know with how Jim Ryan and Herman are doing things, not for long. So I, I do want to sit back the first year and maybe the second year to see how the VR headset does uh, and how, what pl Sony really plans to do with it. Because if they don't sell enough headsets, obviously I truly believe that they're going to open it up to PC and then it's going to be kind of pointless. You know, like you, the headset, first of all, is supposed to be for PS5 only. I should not be, av it should not be available in the future for PC. But something in the back of my fucking head is, is making me think that they're going to do that. They did that with the games. They did that with the DualSense. I just don't trust Jim Ryan and Herman. And I have to sit back on some, some of these new uh, games and, and, and hardware and look and see what they're doing. Because I want to be a smart consumer. I do not want to blindly support them when they're, you know, God of War is great. The games we got are great this year. But their leadership, their messaging, fucking horrible. Fucking horrible. And the one reason why we would all be buying the headset is because it's exclusive, right? We're buying the headset because it's exclusive. We're buying the headset because it has games that are only on that headset that are only on PlayStation. Now, what happens after a year or two and all of that goes away and they start putting all the shit on PC, they put the headset compatible, uh, make it compatible with PC. Like, come on, man. Nah, I'm going to wait. Respectfully. But I, I support everybody else to going out to pick it up. Y'all can let me know how it is, but respectfully, I'm going to wait. Um, God of War Ragnarok is overhyped. All hell, the real God of War feel. Huh. We, you know, we got a lot of topics to talk about. One of them is, what's going on, Mass Produce? One of them is Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer had a new interview where he said, uh, hold on. And again, big shout out to my boy Spartan, which sent the PlayStation Legion on Twitter this screenshot with a very important part of the interview hold on there it is and i just want to read this out besides uh, spencer's comments microsoft also says keeping call of duty on playstation is a com com commercial imperative for xbox business and the economics of the transaction in fill and oh sorry in filings to the UK comp competition regulator Microsoft says it would put its own revenues at risk if the deal closes and it pulls Call of Duty from PlayStation and that Microsoft has been clear that it is counting on revenues from the distribution of Activision Blizzard games on Sony PlayStation. So if you couldn't understand what I was reading, basically what they're saying is we wouldn't take Call of Duty or other Activision games from PlayStation because we know our community and the PC community won't buy the game enough for us to make our money back. The only way we can seriously make our money back is if we keep these games on PlayStation and they make the money. That's still not a confirmation that we, they would never do it. It's just they're saying what we already know. PlayStation ga gamers made Activision a lot of money for many, many years. It would be stupid to instantly take the games away from us. 
but they never say anything about the future. They just said it would be stupid to take it away because we would lose a lot of money. We want to make a lot of money off of PlayStation dudes. So we're going to own Activision. They're going to buy the games. They're going to make us money. And it would be stupid for us to cut ourselves short by taking it off of PlayStation platforms. Honestly, a lot of PlayStation gamers don't have the head that I have. I'm going to be honest. They don't have the brain that I have. I would boycott this shit. Because basically what they're saying is PlayStation gamers are going to be making us money. We're going to keep it over there because they're going to make us money. You buy Call of Duty, you're you're helping Microsoft. I don't want that. I won't be buying any Activision games if the deal goes through. Never. Not me. I don't care what anybody else does. I won't be doing it. Fuck that. Nope. Because they just let us know in this new interview that they know they make the most money on PlayStation. And they want to make that money. They can't make the money. They can't get the money from PlayStation gamers. Because first of all. Sony won't allow Game Pass on PlayStation. And second of all. Xbox won't put Gears, Halo, and Forza on PlayStation. So the only other way that Microsoft can get a piece of the PlayStation gamers wallet. Is by buying a publisher that makes a game that makes a lot of money on PlayStation. That's why they picked up act they're trying to pick up Activision so that they can make all that take all that Call of Duty money that we give them every year on the PlayStation platforms and they make a shitload of money on PlayStation. Um it's something that you should really educate your gu- yourself about guys. It's like think about it. Do you re- if you really wanted to support Microsoft you would probably buy an Xbox. They're trying to find a way around that to get you to give them money. The only way they can get you to give them money is by buying something that you buy. They know you guys buy Call of Duty, so they're trying to buy Activision. So that you, in turn, would literally be giving them money. Other than that, they can't find a way to get you to give them money. What's going on, Brian Gaming? I see a lot of people rolling in. What's going on? It's um it's upsetting. It's uh it's upsetting, it's fucked up, but hey, this this is this is how it is right now. They they're stuck. Their Xbox fans aren't giving them enough money. They're not making enough money off of the PC. This is their smartest idea that they have. I think it's a great idea. In a business sense. But I think it is pretty fucked up. You know, you basically publicly let everybody know. You you can't make money from PC. And you can't make money from Xbox. That's some wild shit. Exact this what I just told y'all. I just I'm on Twitter. I'm scrolling through, and I just saw that uh, this this news report that men are being forced to pay child support for children that aren't biologically theirs. So they call it dads by default. So the kids are not theirs. They've done a blood test and they found out that the kids are not theirs, but the court still forces them to pay child support for a kid that's not theirs. And that's how I, I look at this deal. It's like you don't want to support Xbox, right? You don't want to support Microsoft, but they're trying to find a way to force you to support them, even though you truly don't want to. 
So you do not want to buy an Xbox. You do not want to support Game Pass. You do not want to buy Halo or Gears or Forza. And they know that. But they know what you want to buy. They know what you do buy. And they're they're going to buy the thing. Uh, they're going to buy the company that makes the games that you like to buy. So that they can finally get access to your wallet. And it's, again, the more I think about it, the more frustrated I get. And I'm frustrated because I know most gamers aren't smart enough to understand they're about to give Microsoft access to their wallet if this deal goes through and call of duty stays on playstation for at least four to five years uh that money's going to be going directly to microsoft every time that you buy call of duty they're going to go on the internet on websites on podcasts on twitter and they're going to brag about how much money they're making they're going to brag about how many uh active users they have because they're going to count Call of Duty as theirs. And it's going to be fucking annoying. It's going to be fucking annoying. I hate that shit, man. It's backwards. What's going on, Nick? Uh, Nick, hot take. God of War doesn't deserve a, ni a 94 meta. Okay, Nick. I see that you're trying to get the L belt. Let's see if you deserve it. Uh, Nick, what do you think God of War deserves? Because it's sitting at a 94. What do you think it deserves? I'll wait. Yeah, Brian, that's some bullshit, but... I mean, this this is the age we live in. The child support situation in this country is the most fucked up thing. Trust me, it is truly fucked up. I don't remember them. Looks like the world population is now 8 billion. Yep, 8 billion people on this earth. Congratulations. I don't know why that just made my heart drop, but uh, it did. Hmm. Okay. Man, I swear. <laughs> oh, this shit's crazy, bro. Oh, it's today today? Huh. Oh my god, she passed away today? She was 113 years old. Her name is Virginia McLaurin. She met with uh, the president when she was 106. She's a hun She was 113 today and she passed away. Damn, that's very, very old. Like, goodness. I'm not sure if I want to live that long, but if I'm healthy and I'm living that long, that'd be a blessing. Huh, 113 years old. Damn, that's a long time. Shit. Nick. Nick. I'm about to call you out. Fuck it. I'm calling you out. You know what it is, bro. Okay, Nick. What is your PlayStation name? Because for you to say God of War is sitting in a 90, I'm going to need to check your trophies. I'm, you're going to need to either be as far as me in the game or have already beat the game. Because the game is out now. I'm not allowing anybody to judge the game without 
buying the game. We could judge the game before it came out. That's awesome to decide if we wanted to buy the game. But now that the game is out, if anybody like yourself wants to change scores, or that's perfectly cool. But I do want to double check to see if you actually have the game and are playing it. So let's do our test. I'll look you up and we'll check your trophies to see if you deserve that right to change the score. What's going on, Ty HD? I see you. Damn, Bill Gates is saying the world is overpopulated. I mean, they tried to kill a lot of people with COVID. Let's be honest about that shit. Or COVID was created to kill people. Or they thought a lot of people would die. Shit, I thought the way they was making a scene on the news, everybody was dying from that shit. But in reality, it don't look like it made that much of a dent. So, we'll see what crazy shit comes up next. Okay, Nick, your opinion is invalid. Your opinion is invalid because the game is now out and you have not played it. So, as far as I'm concerned, I have 34% progress. I have not beaten the game. I got 18 trophies out of 36. I plan to aim for the platinum. But I don't know 100% until I get past 50. When I get past 50 or 60%, I'll let you know. But uh, that is uh, and that is something that I want to do. I do want to get the platinum. So, Nick, you're telling me you, you didn't play God of War Ragnarok. But God of War Ragnarok is currently out. And you're telling me it doesn't deserve a 94, it deserves a 90. Now, how would you know that if you didn't play the game? I, I, I need you to make that make sense to me. Okay, don't worry, mass produce. No spoilers. I'm I'm gonna be respectful to the the good amount of people that are clearly not as far as I, I am. And trust me, I am not trying to run through the game, but I cannot put the game down. Uh, so Nick, you say I have reasons that you don't have to play it to see. So what are what are the what are the reasons? What do you you know? Can you vaguely go over the reasons without spoilers? why it shouldn't be 94 on Metacritic, but it should be 90. And while you do that, I'm going to go... Yeah, while you do that, I'm going to go... Uh head over to metacritic real quick i gotta check one a few things okay Gonna do my next checkup. See how that shit runs. Okay, let me read this real quick. I think the over the shoulder cam is a last gen thing. The people with uh, with you constantly tell you what to do before you even have a chance to figure it out, and constantly telling you to look behind you. Well, that's very helpful for me because you can't fucking see behind you. So it's good that you fucking get, you know, some help. Um, You had the same type of reticles on Batman. On Batman Arkham games, you had the same type of reticles that would point in the direction where damage is coming from. So that you could block it or counter it. God of War does the same thing. 
as a follow-up to the last game, I wouldn't expect the camera angle to change dramatically. Now, when they make a new God of War, they might change the camera angle and the way that the game looks, but this is a follow-up to finish the story. Now, again, I'm, I'm, I'm bothered by the fact that you didn't play the game, but you're bothered by someone else telling you that. Because I know where this information came from because I saw the individual that said the same shit you just said. He said it. He played the game. I can't understand how this would bother you when you don't have the game and you haven't played the game. Now, I can understand if you don't have the system that the game is on, but I'm pretty sure you have a PlayStation console, and I'm pretty sure this game came out last week. You don't really have any excuse to be giving an opinion on a game you don't have. When you do have access to have the game, you have the system, and you can get the game because it's out right now. But see, these are other people's gripes. These are not yours. What's what's going on, Nick? I'm gonna I'm going to respect your opinion, but I'm gonna respect that it is not a fact as well, since I've actually played the game, and I know you're bullshitting. So I'm not here to force anybody to buy anything. You can miss out on all that shit. That's cool, but. I'm not going to sit up here and and believe any word you just said because I know the individual that had these problems and said exactly what you just said that actually has the game. But I no, not taking it from you, bro. That's like no, somebody been. copying off of somebody else's homework and forgetting to change the name and turning that shit in, bro. Like, do you think I'm stupid? You think I don't see this shit? I see a lot. I see a lot and I know exactly who had that issue and I know where you got it from. Um, Andrew Wilkins, you say at Nick, that's because these devs want games to be all inclusive. That's the reason there's so many indicators. A very few console owners buy a lot of games. They want to bring in casuals to buy more games i can agree with that andrew but in the other way shit you can't see behind you and i've 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 i really that shit saves my ass because this is not a fucking easy game to play play this shit on easy uh sorry play this game on uh, normal it's gonna fuck you up trust me I'm loving it, bro. What, what Nick is knocking. I'm um, loving it. Nick you have to understand the why they would add those type of features. All types of people play video games, not just hardcore gamers that have amazing sight and amazing hand eye coordination. So, of course, they're going to try to open the game up a little bit. And I respect that because there's a lot of people that want to enjoy the game. If the game was like, let's say, Bloodborne or Dark Souls with no difficulty and didn't let you know anything, bro, people people probably wouldn't pick it up. That's why people don't pick up Dark Souls and Bloodborne because of that type of difficulty. You know, you hey, you have to make concessions if you want people to support that shit. Um tomorrow is a very important day. Tomorrow is the one week anniversary of God of War Ragnarok. I'm expecting Sony to give us a sales report. If we do not get a sales report this week, I would take it that God of War sold less copies than the original. Something that I don't want to be true. Mm -hmm. Especially if people continuously tell me putting games on PC has no impact on new games being sold. We will see tomorrow or later or sometime this week when, when we get the sales report. With that being said... I just want to go look around YouTube real quick. I, I highly doubt PlayStation is announcing anything. They got the soundtrack listening party coming out for God of War Ragnarok. Uh, God of War Ragnarok becoming Kratos developer diary. That was posted 45 minutes ago. So they definitely, they going around the world before this one year, uh, sorry, before the one week anniversary. So it's interesting. It's a big game.
It's a big fucking game. This game's supposed to do big numbers and make Sony a lot of money. But we're going to see. We're going to see. I don't know if it's going to happen the way they want it to, but we'll see. Uh, we have a good amount of people here. So I just wanted to say, ask you guys a question. Do you... Oh, we got to watch this too. Gun Grave. Because I already knew this game was last year and I didn't want to pick it up. But do you believe Elden Ring deserves to be Game of the Year? Do you believe that Elden Ring deserves the 97? Nick, I'm looking at you. You just downgraded God of War from a 94 to a 90. So do you believe that Elden Ring right, deserves to be a 97? You don't even have the game. How can you downgrade the game? Like, I don't get that. I don't get that nonsense. So I'm guessing you guys are saying no? Okay. So what do you think Elden Ring should be? Okay. I respect that. Like, Elden Ring is not doing anything fucking different than the last one. And truly, it's not. From what I played on God of War Ragnarok, from things I can't talk about to areas that you need to see for yourself, this game is is just... It is the sequel we wanted. That's all I'm going to say. And if you don't play it, you don't get to enjoy the rest of the areas. And even if you have a few gripes, that's perfectly fine. But those gripes, in my personal opinion, for me playing the game, are not anything that would lower the score. And even if they were things that would lower the score, playing the rest of the game and enjoying the other parts of the game would quickly rise the score back higher than the score that was lowered. As far as I'm concerned with um, Elden Ring, I would give it like an 82. It's a Dark Souls open world game. The challenge is fun. I love leveling up. I love uh, overcoming challenges. I love the bosses. That's nice. But the story is non-existent. And the graphics, after playing Horizon Forbidden West, which is an open world um, action RPG, I will say that um, it's horrible in comparison to Horizon Forbidden West. Shit, it's horrible in comparison to Horizon Zero Dawn at 60 frames. On my PS5. And the fact that you weren't able to get a lock 60 frames. Again is horrible. So you, We got people out here capping for a developer. That couldn't do simple 60 frames lock. On consoles. When every other PlayStation developer can do that. Plus Insomniac adding in. Lock 60 frames with ray tracing at 1440p. So you know what. You know. If, if a great developer. Is one that fucks up on a game. But a developer that gives you everything is the worst one. I don't need to talk to niggas like that, bro. Simple as that. Because your shit's fucked up. We're looking at Gungrave Gore. Gungrave has been in development since the PS2. This specific game has been in development hell since the PS2. It was supposed to come out on the PS2. They pushed it back to the PS3. It was supposed to come out on the PS3. They pushed it back. To the PS4. It was going to come out on the PS4. And now it's coming out on next gen systems. So. I can understand why this shit look. look and, and is going to play like something. On the PS2. But uh. It is going day and date to game pass. So they know how bad their game is already. This game is coming to PlayStation. But we're going to have to pay for it. I will be skipping this game. I was a little excited for this game when I found out it was going to be an exclusive. But after another delay, the developer made the decision to bring it a game to Xbox and put it on Game Pass. So you already know that's a no-no for me. So also, uh, Nick, the camera angle you bitched about, man, I can't agree with that gripe because that's a camera angle that most developers use. And I have no problem with it most of the time. Um, I will say sometimes in God of War, when you have multiple enemies, uh, it is definitely a little difficult because you can't see over your shoulder, obviously. Um, but you can't see over your shoulder most of the time. I'm turning my neck left to right and I can barely see behind me. 
But um, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, this game's gonna get shitted on in reviews. Um, I don't know when this comes out, but this definitely looks like one of those games that's gonna be like a fifty or a sixty on Metacritic, or it should be. OC Reed in the building. What's going on? I put 155 hours and give up on it and got sick of fighting repeated bosses. Hey, bro, I put a lot of hours in Elden Ring. I think I put 60 to 70 hours in that shit. And I had given up too. I know a lot of people that didn't beat Elden Ring. I know a lot of people that didn't beat Elden Ring. I'm one of them. It's not for lack of trying. But it was like, nah, bro. That shit was, it did get repetitive. And it was weird because I had got to a new area and it was just it's like, man, oh, you gonna give me two tree sentinels? <laughs> I'm like, okay. Well, that's fucked. No, I'm not doing that shit, bro. <laughs> like, no. That's what I'm saying, True Woody. That's what I'm saying. Some developers get a free pass because people like them. Other developers, they don't get a free pass because people don't like them. What's funny, um, Andrew, is when it comes to Elden Ring, we already know the majority of Xbox fans that played that game is probably in the single digits, you know? I'm dead serious. Xbox fans are the last community that I expect to play a difficult game. They're the last community I expect to play any type of game. What's going on, Games for Eternity? So, I know they should not be talking. Uh, I'm also live. I'm about to go do my vote for game of the year because I didn't do it yesterday and I didn't do it this morning. Well, I'm about to. It's almost 12 o'clock. Let me see. Game Awards. There we go. And this is the website. Yeah, I'm... I'm I I don't understand that, bro. That I know what's going to happen. It happens every fucking year. Everybody during the Game Awards from Jeff Keighley, they pick their favorite game. Most of the time, the game has an entire gaming community behind them. Let's say a Plague's Tale and Elden Ring are going to have the PC and Xbox community behind that game. Then PlayStation... Is going to have Horizon Forbidden West, Stray, the cat game, and uh, God of War, right? Then you're going to have the Nintendo community that's going behind Xeno, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So, everybody's going to have the game or games that the community is going to completely support. Xbox shouldn't support a Plague's Tale or Elden Ring specifically because they're multi-platform. But because they want one of those games to beat a PlayStation game, even if that game is also on PlayStation, they're going to cap for it all across the internet over the next three weeks. It's going to be toxic out here. It's always toxic out here this time of year. Final Fantasy 7, 99 to 100. Is that the score? No, True Woody. They'll never get better because they don't have to get better.
Damn it! There you go, man. Can you sign me in, please? I would love to be signed in. Thank you. Thank you. I'm about to start voting. Signed in with my JTEC TV Google account. Let's go. Vote now. I'm going to let you guys know my voting. Start voting. I'm going to be game of the year. I already know. I'm going with God of War. Vote submitted. Vote. Vote submitted. Fuck. It's not even a fucking question. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even a question. It's not even a question, bro. Not even a fucking question. Nope. Not even a damn question. I don't need to. Nope. I don't need none of that shit. There you go. And I'm I'm saving a fucking picture. And don't worry. The picture is about to be up very, very soon. Fuck out of here. Now I got to go vote for all these other shitty categories. Mm, Frostbite just posted something. Let me go see what's going on here. Frostbite. I know you busy playing these games, man. You're always getting platinums. Okay, I'll try to get Nelson Gaming up in here for one of these Sunday shows. Get his opinion on some of this, some of this news. Phil Spencer has claimed that Xbox business would become Un, what up, untenable if it doesn't gain relevance on mobile. Agreeing that the Activision Blizzard deal is primarily about Candy Crush and not Call of Duty. Okay, big shout out to Frostbite. That's Cap, bro. This nigga, Phil Spencer thinks everybody's stupid. He must think every Candy Crush hasn't been relevant since I was in my fucking twenties, bro. What is he talking about? Nah, bro. This deal is all about Call of Duty, the game that brings in the most money, the game that just smashed this previous record. It's about Call of Duty. It's not about Candy Crush. Don't let Phil Spencer lie to y'all. Do not let him deceive you. This dude trying to sell fucking... He's trying to sell you your own arm that's already attached. Bro. No. No. He, he really must think everybody's stupid like his fanboys. Nah, nah, nah. That's cat. That's cap, and there's a lot of shit that's cap, but that's 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 very that's very cap. That's pretty fucking dope. I'm not sure if I'm trying to get that big. Let me see. Okay, so I just want... Is that true, Woody? Is that true, Woody, with the $5 billion uh, super chat that we can donate to Xbox so they can have some fucking games? 
I bet you. But... Yeah, we gotta use the five billion dollars to give Xbox some games. I don't think there's enough money in the world to give. They need some anything. games. Okay, I just did. I just did that shit, bro. I just voted for my first game. I need to go back and vote for the rest of these games. But you already know, game of the year. I already voted for uh, the Kratos and the Boy. Hey, bro, did you see my video I tagged you in where they confirmed that uh, the Atreus actually stinks? That he is a stinky kid. <laughs> <laughs> I like that what I've been saying is actually coming true, bro. I love it. Oh, man. Bro. Hey, That's you crazy. Got, you got, it is crazy. I've been calling him a stinky kid for a long, long time, bro. And I said he stinks. And it's just fucking awesome that it made it in the game. It's a lot of shit that made it into the game, like PlayStation All Stars. I think they really listen to the community a lot more than we give them credit for. I've been saying that for a long time, though. You gotta be careful what you say, cause they listening. Okay, so this is natural. There we go. Best game, God of War. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that was best game direction. Sorry. Best narrative, God of War. Best art direction, God of War. Best score, God of War. <laughs> Don't worry, all of them, all of them be best audio. God of War. Let's go down. Best performance. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Christopher Judge from God of War. <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> Games for impact. See, I don't like that because I don't know none of them motherfuckers. I was a teenage exolonagist. You know what? I'm going to give it to the game with the foxes. Fuck it. Uh, best ongoing game. I'm going to give that to... I think I'm going to give that to... Um, I'm going to give that to Genshin Impact. Because I actually did come back to play Genshin Impact this year. Because of... I already know you're at work. Best indie game. I'm giving that to Stray... Uh, Stray. Best mobile game. Give that that Genshin Impact again. Even though I didn't play it on mobile. Best community support. Best community support will have to go to No Man's Sky. They did a they've been doing a really amazing job. Innovation and accessibility is going to God of War. Best VR AR game. I don't really play, but I'm gonna give it to Moss Book Two. Best action game. I'm gonna give it to Sifu because I played that one. I could have gave it to Ninja Turtles, but it's cool. Best action adventure game. I'm giving that to God of War. Best role playing game. They didn't put anything that I like, so I'm going to give it to Elden Ring because they didn't put anything I like in that section. Best fighting game, Multiverses, because I, I actually did enjoy that, and I plot on that. Best family game. The family category is dominated by Nintendo, so I'm going to just give it to Lego Star Wars. Best sim slash strategy. Uh, I would just give it to Dune Space Wars Best sports slash racing game You already know that's going to Gran Turismo 7 I'm going to vote for that 
I'm going to put the link in the chat in a little bit so you guys can sign up and vote if you do want to vote. I would I would definitely recommend you to vote because if you think that the community is covered, we're not. Xbox fans, PC fans have a big majority when it comes to the internet and they will spam that shit. So be very careful. If you feel that you really want to vote, I will give you the link in a little bit so you can vote. Best I'm multiplayer. Really Best multiplayer, I'm going to put it on Multiverses because I played that. Content creator of the year is definitely not going to be Nibble. Everybody <laughs> white on this bitch, man. Not a single black face. I'm going to give it to Ludwig, and I don't even know who that dude is. But it's not going to Nibble. Best debut indie. We giving that to Stray again. Stray going to win some awards. Stray got Stray got six nominations, bro. This is, that's right behind Elden Ring and Horizon Forbidden West. Oh, listen to this, Truity. Best adaptation of a movie or a TV show. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Cuphead the Show, Cyberpunk, Edge Runners, the Uncharted movie. I'm going to give it to Uncharted just to piss people off. Most anticipated game. I'm going with Hogwarts Legacy. Fuck Starfield. Let me see. Best esports game. Rocket League. I played that this year. Best esports athlete. I don't know any of these people, but I'm going to pick the dude that's like Japanese, Chinese. He looks cool. Best esports team. The team that has red and black. There you go. Uh, best esports coach. Wow, why do you know these? I don't. Yeah, exactly. I don't pay best esports event. What the fuck? Do does anybody even go up on stage when they be winning the esports shit? Like, I don't even think I notice anybody going up there. Okay, I'm all good, bro. I'm good. I've done my voting. It was really that quick. You just go left to right to different categories and you're fucking done. Um, let me go put the link in the chat. Re that shit was really easy. It was much easier than previous years. Yeah, it's just, you can go left to right to different categories. Just vote and it's automatically. And you can you can choose to take a screenshot or a wallpaper of your selection of what you, you cast at your vote. Um, you don't have to, but you can do it for every vote that you take. That was that was easy. That was really easy. True Woody with the nine uh, gazillion dollar super chat. You said, "I love Xbox and the Xbox loves me." That is nice. That is very nice, man. We I'll get every day before I go to sleep. But you're always woke, so it's cool. Uh, nah, Niggas always woke. Call him the nah, woke king. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see what's going on in the chat. OC Reed, this god of war is legit. Is a is a legit threat to the Last of Us Two record with awards. I know, man. I mean, if you're playing the game I'm playing, man, when y'all get far enough to where I'm almost at or where I'm at, man, you're going to be like, wow, I did not know they was going to have a, a, a fourth, a fourth Madagascar level. And I will show you guys that because I want to put it on screen so you guys can understand what a Madagascar level because I, I understand that not everybody played Assassin's uh sorry Uncharted so I'm gonna go start that shit up so they can call me Uncharted man also true when he wants to donate uh five hundred thousand dollars to help Xbox get the next game on game pass so congratulations <laughs> the smell-o-vision 
It's just really funny that they 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 in the game they was like Atreus stinks. I just bro, I love that shit. I love it. Hey man, you hey, hey, you were saying that before. I've been saying it for so bro, I just love that so much of the stuff we talk about on PlayStation Legion podcast on our streams, it it gets out. They don't want to give us credit, but it gets out. It's just fucking surreal sometimes, man. It just it's fucking crazy. You have a super shot, by the way. You say what? You got a super shot. Oh, I do. Oh, okay. You know, uh, you know, I, I the chat's not working on uh, Elgato right now. Five dollar super chat from Frantic I Animator. Okay. You didn't mm-hmm. give it to Edge Runners. I didn't beat. I didn't finish Edge Runners. I'm on episode three. It's not that oh, I don't want to watch it, but I've been really busy, and since most of the like oh, shows are on my laptop, I actually don't like watching shit on my laptop. I like to like put the shows and movies on my USB and then put them on the PS5 and watch them on my TV because it just feels better to watch shit on my TV. And I just can't oh. bring myself to watch Edge Runners, even though I want to watch it. So I'm gonna force myself to turn like to watch these shows on my laptop so I can finish this. And also, um, what's the Dark Snyder uh, anime I put y'all onto? Remember that with the Dark Wizard dude have really good music. Oh, God damn! You know, bastard! Bastard! My bastards. God! My God! That anime is fire, bro. Love that shit. I finished it. Oh you, my freaking! You God. loved it, didn't you? Hey, bro, the ending song and the, the 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 beginning song are just the best, bro. The best. Yo, yo that nigga's crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm not lucky. That nigga crazy. You gotta love it, bro. You gotta love it. The Dark Snyder is just it's freaking insane. But he's fucking he's fucking one of my favorite characters, but I know he that nigga that nigga over top crazy. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys what Madagascar is. Again, if you want to go vote, I'm gonna put the link in the chat again. So you can go vote. I'm expecting you guys to hit the like. Uh, hit the like button so that I can replace that with the link. For the uh, game awards. So that's what I'm about to do. Again, big shout out to Fran- oh, Frantic Animator with another super chat. Uh, $2 super chat by Frantic Animator. Watch it or I'll get feel on you. Cool. <clears throat> uh, Nelson Gaming, it will split too many Game of the Year awards with Elden Ring from different outlets. Got, um, last year, Horizon Forbidden West and God of War would have taken them. Yes, true. Uh, last year, it would have been really great for Horizon for- Forbidden West and God of War. This year, it coming out you know, in the year that Elden Ring exists, I can see a lot, a big split, a massive split, you know, but if, 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 if God of War wins at Jeff Keighley's, uh, show, everybody else will fall in line. That's why we, we look at this showcase because who wins game of the year at Jeff Keighley kind of dictates on how other people are going to vote if they haven't already voted. That's cool. No, Jay, Jay, seriously, I'm pretty serious. You watch Edge Runners. What you say? No, I said seriously, watch Edge Runners. It's actually pretty awesome, man. I, I was already watching. I'm on episode three. But I got this other show that I'm watching called God of War. You heard of it? That's not an episode. That's a freaking fantastic, um, fantastic beauty of a um, project. And that's why I can't put it down. Okay? <laughs> I'm telling you what I tell them. 
So hey, if you guys you wanted me. to know what Madagascar <laughs> is, this is Madagascar on Uncharted 4. It was one of the biggest fucking areas in the game. Now, we didn't get any other major open, semi-open world big levels in this game. Uh, this was the only one. God of War has four of them so far. Four. I've counted. Four. Four levels like this that are basically open, open world. Actually, if I'm being honest... One second. I'm going to go to back to the main menu and show you the Lost Legacy. Remember Lost Legacy? Lost Legacy's major area of operations was all op pretty much wide open. And um, let me see. I'm trying to see if this this will work. Man, I, I didn't even see the Lotus. What the fuck? Nigga, I didn't even I didn't even see the loading screen just now. That she just Bro. just it just jumped in. I swear I didn't see a ring or any of that stuff. Whoa, bro, that was fucking that was like no, that was that was crazy. Wow. So so God of War hey, has at least four. I've tracked four wide open areas like this or Madagascar. And I haven't beaten the game yet, and there's two more worlds that I still need to visit with Kratos. So, hey, that's, that's, that's big. Enough. And that's, that's why the game went game. from 40 gigs to 90 gigs. It's a lot. It's So, it's in God of War Ragnarok, it, there are at least four areas so far that are wide open like this. And the new area I went to blew my mind. And I almost gave up on the game last night because I was like, I don't know if I can explore all this. And then I ended up like chipping away and, and exploring a good portion. Um, oh shit, they're shooting at me. Okay, True, what are you turning on music now? I can hear the music. I know you can't hear it, but I can hear it. So yeah, long story short, God of War has some massive open areas like this, and they are of the same quality that are this beautiful. So again, big shout out to Sony Santa Monica for for Truity muting his mic. God. You sounding like a transformer, a robot in disguise, or X-Bot in disguise, either one. But uh, yeah, man, um, I'm still trying to figure out how they did it. So let me just see. let me do a little research. So Uncharted has two. This this is two games in one, right? This is two games in one for 67 gigabytes. That's two games in one, right? And then we got God of War, which is just one game, and that's 48 gigs. So 48 gigs versus 67. That's crazy because this is two games in one. You got Uncharted 4, and then you got Lost Legacy in the same package. And this was just one game. Like, and they definitely did... You know, the compression technique. But it's still one game. And it's fucking huge, man. It's fucking huge. It's like, it's the it's, it's a big ass game. It's not a bad thing, but I'm, I'm astounded how much they were able to fit into the game. And the game is still not over. With the, the side missions and the, just everything, man. It's, it is the definition of game of the year. It is. It is truly the definition of game of the year, and I fucking love it. Speaking of, I'm gonna do a little review on uh, the Xbox fans. I'm curious to see if anybody's bitching and moaning. Uh, Call Eastwood did talk up, but did use Kratos because again, God of War is popular. So this is what he says. 
2022 Xbox surprises. That's a lie. There are no surprises for Xbox because Xbox isn't talking about shit. Uh, surprise Xbox exclusive in 2022 Activision Troubles Game of the Year. I hope he's not talking about Pentiment. He's talking about Pentiment. I see Pentiment in the picture right there. I'm done. Yeah, it's fucking, it's fucking clown. He's a fucking clown. Nope. Maybe I'll check Dirk Griggity. No, that was a bad idea. Fucking toxic too. I'm telling you, man, it's, it's so many so many of these dudes are so fucking toxic, man. They're so fucking toxic. The fuck? Let me see. Anybody else? Any any of these fucking other weirdos that are going to just be honest and just say, hey, Xbox, you fucking up. We have no games. Like, just no damage control for once. Xbox Series X and X get new boost. Halo update, God of War. Like, they, be, they do these type of videos... Dealer gaming and cult. They do it all the time. Every week they do that. Like just pivoting, sidestepping, backtracking, damage control, lying, mis misleading. Every week. There's, there's literally not that much to talk about for Xbox. But they, they find something every week. It's fucking crazy. This shit, it, it don't even make that, it don't even make sense. Hey, mass produce, if they had the section for best water in a video game, I would lose my shit. Because that would be awesome, man. Or maybe like just best, best scenery, best, I don't know, best setting. Oh, that that is that's a nice one. Best setting, yeah. A time or a theme of a game, yeah. That'll work. What's going on, Arcane? We don't get to see you often. The longest subscribed member of this channel has graced our eyes with his presence. Thank you, man. What's going on, Dez? I'm taking my time with this game like a fine wine. I'm exploring everything, finding all the artifacts, solving all the puzzles, and doing all the side quests before I do the main story, just like Ghost. Exactly, Dez. That's what I've been doing. And I will tell you guys, because I am de desperately trying to get the whole bookshelf, but I was able to find the the new easter egg which was the ghost of Tsushima book now there's a lot of books in this game and i'm not going to tell you what the book says in it but every book that you pick up that's like a playstation exclusive easter egg they ha it's a poem so these the, the, the you get the book you read the poem and some people don't like if you don't look real quickly when Kratos picks up certain things, you won't know what he's picking up. There's a lot of shit that he picks up that you should take a look at. But sadly, because the game doesn't have photo mode, you have to be super quick when you're picking up some of this stuff. If, if you know you're about to pick up something rare, then you might want to have your hand, your finger on the share button. And that's what I've done. And you guys can't even see what I'm showing, can you? That's a good thing. Oh. That was the wrong one. Here. 
Here you go. So this is the Ghost of Tsushima book I picked up. Now I picked it up last night in this new area, which again, I've zoomed in so close on the book that you can't really see what area I'm at. Uh, so no spoilers here. But, you know, again, you know there were going to be Easter eggs. This is one of the Easter eggs. I haven't read the book to see what they say. I'm guessing there's going to be some re um, some reference to some sort of ghost. Uh, but there are a lot of PlayStation exclusive books. I think there's like 14. I think I'm sitting at nine now. For some reason, one of the areas where the Ratchet and Clank book was at i thought i scoured the area but obviously i wasn't good enough and i didn't find that book and i'm really regretting not getting that book i think i i, I think the story is going to circle me back around to that area so that i will have like a, a door and i can go back and forth and go get that book but that that book is in an area that i i no longer have access to uh sadly but I am definitely trying to find all these PlayStation exclusive books so I can take an awesome screenshot of the bookshelf with all the PlayStation exclusive books on it. And it's it's a really nice uh, little Easter egg in this game. But there's m multiple PlayStation Easter eggs beside the books. Like I saw the dagger from Uncharted 2 that was found in this game. Uh, and I was like, what? And I saw it multiple times too. So uh, there's there's a lot of Easter eggs. You know, even some of the things like the Easter egg somebody found about Kratos talking to Mimir about his involvement in PlayStation All-Stars. And and I was like, what? I was like, they put PlayStation All-Stars in God of War. I was like, oh, that's awesome. Uh, so, I mean, it's just a lot of history in this game. Uh, I knew they were going to do something special um it's nice that they put it in the form of a book because again back then you didn't have a video game you had books you know you get to experience the stuff through a book not a video game so it's awesome that they did that um i love it i love it, it it's fitting it's fitting um this game is uh <laughs> it's not it's like every section of this game is better than the, the next and and it's just it's just fucking puts a smile on my face. I always get like butterflies in my stomach. When I think about going back to play the game, I get just so excited, man. It's just love it. What? What you say, Mass Produce? Pentiment best pajama sim. You said it's a pajama sim. Illegal. Um, Arcane, you said, yeah, I saw that one. I uh, saw that too. Laugh out loud. At this point, they should just bring back All-Stars in some way. They should. We have enough amazing PlayStation characters. And we have a, a, a multitude of amazing game developers that they can make a pretty damn good PlayStation All-Stars reboot. You know, and I think that everybody would be behind it. Because, again, every gamer on PlayStation has their favorite character. And I, w I think that they would want to see who what character is the best. What's going on, Verge Brizzle? So I think it could definitely work out. You know, you could have Atreus and Kratos. You don't have to have them together. You could have them separate in the game, account accounting for two characters. So, um, I mean, they could definitely do it. I don't know if they want to, but they definitely have the characters. Uh, the 10-year anniversary for PlayStation All-Stars is coming up on November 20th. So we'll see what happens then. I'm going to go take a look at my calendar to see when that date is. I think that is a Sunday or a Monday. November 20th is a Sunday. Yep. Sadly, PlayStation All-Stars falls on a Sunday, which means they will be able to ignore the game's existence yet again. This is the 10-year anniversary, though, so it would be fucking nice for them not to ignore it. Uh, I will be celebrating it, but... I'm not sure if anybody else will. What's going on, Destroyer? Oh man, Ellie and Joel in a in a PlayStation All Stars game versus Kratos and Atreus. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> the shit, 
this shit pays for itself. Like, you know how many motherfuckers will buy that game knowing that Kratos can fight Joel from The Last of Us? Like, come on, bro. Like, like, come on. Let's be honest, bro. Like, people want to want people want to see that. So yeah, they 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 could do it. They could do a really good version of PlayStation All Stars now if they put their heart and soul into it. They could do a really really good job. But it's really up to them if they want to. I don't think they want to. But uh, again, I've been, you know, searching around for the rest of the PlayStation books and stuff. Um, but again, yeah. <sighs> Here. What the hell is this? Oh, fuck. Sorry. Shit. Fuck. Sorry, guys. I was trying to find a fucking bookshelf. Oh, what the fuck? I think I, I think I just found this other Easter egg. This is the prayers, right? So we take this. Okay, we took the screenshot. This. There's something funny going on here. I think I I think I saw something. Hey, True Woody. Did you say God of War? Say God of War was reference um um the PlayStation All Stars. Uh yes. Um, I put it in the PlayStation All Stars section on Discord. Mamir talked about a competition with Kratos, and uh, I'm gonna let the video play. <laughs> And then I'm going to also let the video play when he talked about the kid stinking. Because I've called Atreus a stinky, stinky, stinky kid multiple times. Yes! I found the Easter egg. The Easter egg of the Atreus carving, which was also in Horizon Forbidden West. Oh my god, I found it. I'm not watching the stream because my, my delivery is here, but um, I'll probably catch up to it eventually. That part of the story eventually. What the fuck? I just took the screenshot. The hell you fuck that? Are they not letting me take the screenshot? Oh, that's weird. I I thought I took it. I did take it. Then why didn't they? Oh, okay. They they did that. So look, this is the carving of Atreus that I found in Horizon Forbidden West. And then this is the carving of Atreus that for some reason when I was trying to switch out his bow. Instead of them looking at Atreus, which seemed to just be right there beside me. Brock had a fucking little totem of Atreus. So... That was dope that um that they had this this little Easter egg. That was pretty fucking fire. I like that. Cause it looks exactly the same. Um Horizon Forbidden West really, really did good with the God of War crossover. I think they did the best uh crossover. Uh, uh not crossover Easter eggs. They did a really, really good job. Ghost of Tashima did a really good job as well. Um, with the Kratos armor and shit. I imagine a crossover game where Jen, Kratos, Aloy, and Ellie team up. See, that's what I'm saying. They could, they could make play the new PlayStation All Stars a uh, fighting game, or they could make it a adventure game. You know, they could whatever they want to do, they can do. But they have a lot of characters, and I don't think they should let this opportunity go to waste. You know. They're always doing Easter eggs in different people's games. So, I mean, it's about time to, to make a game again with everybody in it. It's almost the 30th anniversary of PlayStation. It's getting there. We're getting close. I want to see The Last of Us Ellie with all her weapons. Okay, you already said that. Yeah, it's getting close, man. It's getting close. Speaking of close... Let's go take our asses over to 
PlayStation Plus. It is the 15th. Today is the day where all the games have went up. So it does look like we got some good games. Let me see the vi vampire game. What's going on here? Is this... This is... This game looks garbage, and I always thought it looked like just pure dog shit. And I remember this was shown off at the Xbox conference, and the Xbox fans were hyping that game up until they found out that it was going to go on PlayStation as well, and then they stopped talking about it. DNF Duel has a game trial. That's good. I wanted to play this shit. Cool. So they did a little bit better on the game trials this week. They actually have some. I don't know what Reaver is. Reaver looks like some sort of Gundam, and I thought it was Gundam, but it doesn't seem like I've seen any Gundams. I see robots that look like Gundams, but I don't see any Gundams. Mm -mm. So I don't know exactly what Relaver Relaver is. Relaver X. It looks like that's what it's called. Relaver. No, Relaver. Yeah, I don't know what this is. What in all the fuck is this? So it's basically Gundam, but it's not Gundam. Yeah, I'm good on that. Yeah, I still think they need to work on the PlayStation Plus game trials because they are dog shit. They claim that any game over $40 will be here, and that is a lie. They need to fix that shit immediately. Um, with that being said, these are our PlayStation Plus premium games for the game catalog. Rainbow Six Siege. Another Rainbow Six Siege, which I'm guessing that's... Uh, what's the difference? Rainbow Six Siege. And what's this one? And Rainbow Six Siege. So they're the same? Oh, this is that. That's the PS5, PS4 ver. No, no, both of them are, both of them are PS5, PS4. Hmm, I don't know the difference. Um, we have Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5, Kingdom Hearts 2.8, Kingdom Hearts 3, and Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. So, if you wanted to play every single Kingdom Hearts game. You now have that freedom to do on PlayStation Plus. You have access to all the Kingdom Hearts games. If you have PlayStation Plus uh, Basic, no, no, Extra. Yeah, you need PlayStation Plus Extra to enjoy the game catalog. They're giving us Division 2. They're giving us Elder Scrolls Skyrim, the Special Edition, which I believe, yes, is the version that is like PS5 compatible. Let's see, What Remains of Ethan Fitch, which is a nice little walking simulator mystery game. Odd World Soulstorm, which was on PlayStation Plus last year. Now it's back and it looks like it's permanent. It's a beautiful game, but I'm not really feeling it. Oh my fucking God. They put this on here? Oh shit. I wanted to play this so bad. Oh my god. It's, it's in Japan or in the United States, it's basically called a, uh, what is it? Bikini Zam uh, uh, Zombie Slayers. Basically, it's these chicks in not that much clothing, and they're hacking and slashing through fucking zom uh, zombies and shit. Um. And this was like the reboot of the series. And I had no idea they were putting this on PlayStation Plus. I looked through the whole fucking list. Hey, bro, I got to look through this shit again, bro. I got to see what the fuck they're doing. Earth Defense Force, which, as you know, I'm a big fan of, but I don't buy them. They're putting all of the Earth Defense Forces over here. So if you this was the best one. This was like the newer generation one. Where if you like to fight big giant ass bugs and then you're in like uh, some sort of version of San Francisco and there's a lot of destruction, this is your game. So 
this game does have co-op online co-op and shit so I, I fucks with it it's free it's on plus let's go take a look at the game collection because they just gave us so much wow look at this look at this look at this then you gave, gave us all the ratchet and clanks right here that's so much man That's so much. Look at all this that they just gave us. Ghost Recon Breakpoint? Like, the fuck? I don't even know what this game is. I keep seeing it on a PlayStation Store, but I don't really know what it is. I'm guessing it's some sort of next-gen Star Fox ship game. I don't know. It looked like something like that. Damn, bro, they gave us so much. What the fuck? Hey, I'm gonna do what I need to do. Um, bro, look at what they gave us, bro. What the fuck? I don't know what this little indie game is. Looks interesting. Got some Easter eggs here, huh? For old school gaming. Damn, bro. That's that's a lot. That's a lot. They gave us so fucking much, bro. Damn, bro. What the fuck? So we got some deals going on. Most wanted deals. And we also have November savings. So we don't have the Black Friday shit yet, but they said this is the November savings. I'm not touching anything. I'm waiting for Black Friday. Damn, bro. They dropped that game like a back, bag of sacks. Fackety app tax. The fuck? What? Battletoads? No. Edge? No. Oh, shit. This guy just pops in like Batman. Um, UFC 4. Digital Deluxe. $70. Original price. $13.99 right now. Yeah, all sports games drop, bro. Yeah, I know. That's why we were talking about this. Why people get excited every year when you know another one's coming. And you can just get the older one for a cheaper price. Like, for real, man. You ready for your Black Friday sales? Oh yes, I am. Yeah, it's only a, it's only about a handful, probably about five games I've kept an eye on to get cheaper. Like one of them's uh, Life is Strange, True Colors, and just a few others. Oh, whoa, whoa, I don't like the way you said that because all all colors are true. So you know. God damn it! God damn it! Hey, bro. What up, dude? How's that God of War treating you? I just made it to the big ass fucking wall, brother. Mm. The the wall. Mm-hmm. They keep the Mexicans out? Hey, 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 hey. hey. Don't, <laughs> don't call that against me. A sitting United States president talked about a wall that would keep up, Mexicans out. Up. Uh you you talking about the wall. Mm-hmm. Were you playing as Atreus? Mm. He runs. Mm. Did you go did you before you went there? Did you just look out into the openness? Yeah, I I I literally I'm at the wall. Like, literally, I fucking gazed at just like, what the fuck am I looking at? Jesus, mm. this is so beautiful. And I was like, you know what? Did you talk to, to um the, the the person that before the wall? No. Like I said, bro, I, I, I went into that world. And you just looked realm. at the wall? No, I basically, yeah. I came, was basically moving forward, saw the fucking big-ass wall, and I was like, all right, this is a good saving point. I'm tired. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Cool. 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 But well, you get a little bit farther, just a tad bit farther, like fifteen minutes into that. Uh, um, hey, 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 hit, hey, hit me up. Hey, 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 hey! I don't want to hear nothing. No, no, it's it's a it's so small because I had to Google it. I Google everybody in in the game, and most people were like, "You don't like they're lost to history," but hmm. I Google this shit and it's real. 
It's, it's just so crazy, bro. Oh, shit. I, the amount of characters they have in this game. The amount of voice actors they have in this game. Like, the, Chem- bro. the chemistry with this game itself, bro. It's, it's one of those games that when you think about, hey, I'm about to go play this game. Don't you get, like, that feeling? You know that feeling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll be like, I yeah, can't these wait these to play this shit. Yeah. Like I said, bro, I always get these feelings when I play this type of caliber of games. Right? Oh, yeah. When it comes to this. Mm. Comes to you don't get it all the time, time, but, yeah, this this type of game, you get it. You get that feeling. God, bro. They and said even going back and, uh, you know, playing um, the remake of Last of Us Part 1. Mm. Dude, it was just, what the fuck, man? Like, I know the story, but damn it, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Last so of Us Part passion. One, playing it again, like it was, it was crazy, so bro. Passion. So much passion in their projects, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just looking. Uh, I mean, nothing. This November sale is not the Black Friday sale, so don't be confused. Just keep on waiting. Next week is um, damn. Next week is Thanksgiving, right? God damn. Yeah, it is Thanksgiving. God fucking damn. I got to call my barber and let her know that I'm uh cancel this week and get my hair cut next week so that yeah, I can, yeah, Thanksgiving. yeah, huh? get it before Thanksgiving. There's no point in getting two haircuts, Eight, 85 shape-ups. 82. Hey, bro, <laughs> the, the music in this game is so good. <laughs> Every area has different music, bro. Oh, my God. It's so fucking good. Uh, there are so many categories that this game is nominated for. And I'm saying 70% of those categories, this should win. I mean, I don't think it should lose to any other game. Because it is the best of the best of those categories it's nominated for. Just die already. What is your boy RTG85? He said Sony screwed up PSVR2 pre-orders and PS5 owners are pissed. Who is who? Mr. RGT85. RGT85. I don't think I know that person. Yeah, he said he's got a thumbnail saying Sony screws up PSVR2 oh. pre-orders. No, they just... Video- are, you know how I talked to you about this with the content creators. They like outrage. Outrage makes people click. They get right. money from clicks. Well, I ain't clicking on shit. So, I ain't so his name is R G T T eighty five. R G T. Oh, he's a Nintendo Xbox PC dude. Like, if he talks about anything related to PlayStation, it's overblown and it's bad news. That's how he gets people to view his shit. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. From from what I understand, nobody got their pre-order messed up. Everybody was able to successfully pre-order their shit, put their money down. Everybody that wanted one got one. I I've on Twitter, I haven't heard a single incident of somebody not being able to get one. So I didn't know this bullshit. Like I again, I cannot believe that we have so many people like this that want to confuse are already confused generation by lying to them about shit that's not true. And, and it, it, he does this all the time. And other people do it. And it's it's that's so insane. irritating. Yeah, it's yeah. not just him. It's everybody's doing that. I was like, I wouldn't do that even. If they saying I can make a bag out of just lying to people, no, bro, that would eat at me. I'm not like them, bro. I have a conscience. And I've had one for a very, very long time. I, I couldn't do it, bro. I couldn't do it. No, I couldn't do it. But they, this nigga do, does it all the time, bro. He, this nigga is too fucking old to be doing it. He's too old. That that dude is way too fucking old to be doing that, bro. And it looked like he's from New York. Now, like, bro, he probably don't go outside because, man... I ain't gonna finish that sentence. You wearing way too much orange. Call him Orange, Orange Captain Orange. Goodness, man. 
fuck out of here. I have a. I'm gonna talk to the chat. Has anybody uh in the chat have they found out that um it was difficult to pre-order the VR headset? Cause I don't know that many people about to drop five hundred dollars before Christmas. So I mean I'm not saying it's not worth it. I'm just saying. It's getting tough out this bitch. <laughs> so you might wanna uh do that shit with you with some free money or income tax, shit like that. Oh shit. Oh my god. Um Christina Applegate got a star in the hall uh walk of fame and Bud. Remember Bud from um the Bundies? Her her younger brother? He was there. Wow, he looks good. Goodness, that's nice. Wow, that is so fucking awesome, man. Man, I'm getting old. We're all getting old. Shit. Roberta Flack. Roberta Flack. Damn, man. They said Jay Leno got burned in a gasoline fire. What the fuck? This nigga too old to be dealing with cars done. Shit. Damn, everybody and their mother passing away or coming close to passing away. No way. That's Jennifer and Anderson's father? Shit! I had no fucking idea. John Aniston. Wow. Oh, shit. Wow, you find shit. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What in the fuck? What's going on? Huh? What's going on? Well, what? So, uh, uh, Jennifer Anderson's father just passed away. He was 89. And I didn't know he was an actor on Days of Our Lives, which is a soap opera show that my grandmother and I probably every Days of Our Lives? Yeah, everybody yeah. used to watch it on the daytime. So if I was sick or anything, you know, I'd be home and you, that'd come on. And sometimes, you, you know, you're a kid and you can't change the channel. You just sit there and watch it. So, uh, it's, wow, it's so crazy. Everybody's everybody's falling off, bro. Yeah, uh, Jay Leno got burnt by a gasoline fire. I'm like, I know he loves cars, but maybe it's time for him to hang that up. Um, I hope he's all right, but they say he's ser he's seriously burnt in a gasoline fire. So, you know. Oh, uh, I was saying that Christina Applegate that played uh, on Married with Children. I don't know a Christina Applegate. I know a Christina Apple Slider. Okay. Okay. You know what? You got me there. But uh, she right, got what? a star in a walk of fame. And, uh, you know, Bundy, yeah, yeah, her yeah. brother, yep. her brother was there. And he looked he looked healthy. You know, you know what they say about the child stars of that generation. They were on drugs and shit. But he looked good. He, he made himself presentable. He looked good. You know? It's crazy. Damn, that's sad, man. Goodness. They said Dave Chappelle's Saturday Night Live monologue deemed anti-Semitic. It don't matter what Dave say. They want they want Dave Chappelle out of there. They just don't like that dude. And I, don't, I love it. I love that they hate that guy. Goodness. This dude's a fucking legend. What's your weather like out there today, bro? Fucking cold as shit. I went to the bank earlier today to deposit uh my Game Pass subscription, and yeah, it was fucking freezing out that bitch. Yeah, it's the way it is out here right now. But it's freezing. Kinda, yeah, yeah. And um, you know that's oh shit. It's, it seems like it's drizzling out here. Um, you know that smell when you go outside and you you it smells like it's about to snow or it smells like snow. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. I got. And now I'm seeing that it's like light drizzle. 
but the you sky what, I, is white like it could just snow right now. So I talked to my, my brother-in-law because I was like, you know, I helped take care of uh, his brother and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I was asking, I was like, what you want to do for dinner? In fact, you know what? How does a good old classic tomato soup sound with the good old classic grilled cheese? Oh, fuck! Call me See up. It? We're going to do the good old classic grilled cheese and tomato sandwich. Call me up, man. Call me up. Oh, my God. Mm-mm-mm. So, I just wanted to ask you a question. Do, do your kids stink? No. They don't stink. No, my kids don't stink, but I do know for a fact uh, that you were a tiny, stinky little kid back in the day. All I'm going to say, there's a part when Mamira talks about Atreus stinking. I just got to it. And I, my mind was blown. My mind was blown because... How much I talk about the kids stinking, specifically Atreus, and that it made it into the game, and it was the funniest part. Now, I don't know if you want to hear it. It's not related to a story or anything, but when you get when you get to that part, all I'm going to say, I think it's best, and this is for everybody, don't rush through the game. Take time, walk around, ride around, boat around, because conversations will come up. There is so, there is so much dialogue that if you're someone that is running through the game, you're going to miss a lot Listen. of dialogue. Yep. Yeah. That's why I'm doing everything. You know me, Yellow. I'm what they let me do is what I'm going to do, and then when I can't do anymore, that's when I'm going to go for the story. I'm but done. Yep. As of right now, what y'all think I'm on this game doing? I'm running around. I'm doing story modes, I'm leveling up. Shit. Side quest. I'm hearing so much shit, man. But then I know it's more stuff because I had went to the boat to sail to an area. Then I was like, "Well, I, I went back on a boat." And then he picked up another conversation. And then okay, so I went. And then it was a continue. And I was like, "What the fuck?" Every time I get on a boat, he got a new story. I was like, "Bro, it's crazy, bro." Well, and then I, the I, different I, characters you with, you know, you get different dialogue with that too. So that's like. So much dialogue. What I find dope is, like, speaking of the dialogue, is, uh, you know, if you're playing the game at your own pace and not rushing through the story, like Jay said, you're going to find, your, you know, certain dialogue. Mm. I heard that motherfucker, uh, you know, when, when you're obviously playing as Kratos and you're running around trying to open up chests and unlock that area or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, I hear, oh, that's just something my dad likes to do. He likes to check everything. Yes! Dad, you know, yes! <laughs> Oh, I was like, what? When I fuck? opened that chest, when he said that, he was like, did you get any good loot? I was like, oh, my God. I oh, just oh, like oh, that oh. they acknowledge it. Yeah, and then when the trays try to punch that crate open. Oh, my God, I love that. That nigga said it doesn't look as easy, it does it. Shut up. <laughs> Such a good game, bro. Such hey, a fucking good game. The writers... Mm, the writers of this game, they need their own award. So they did a great job, bro. Yeah, the more you play that game, bro, you realize that Elden Ring has no chance. Oh, hell and if, no. And, and, if, and if it does, bro, it's a cap fest. Bro, when we talk about dialogue, God of War has so much dialogue that you can make five to six, maybe even seven Elden Ring games. Because Elden Ring has no dialogue. Literally. You can go from normal enemies to... Boss and have literally no dialogue of story. I've done it multiple times. I haven't heard have a you? single person talk. Oh, oh, get out of my village. Oh, why are you here? I'm in search for the Elden Ring. If I mean, if count that as dialogue, I mean, that's what you got. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. Not, not shouldn't be compared. The fact that that game got a higher Metacritic score lets me know. But then again, you know, God of War got ten nominations. And what I loved about yesterday is that, and IGN did it, but I, I really want to talk to you about this because you got a lot of shit. So Elden Ring has seven nominations. 
Horizon Forbidden West has seven nominations. But IGN went out of their way and said, God of War has the most nominations and right behind God of War is Elden Ring. Hmm. But why would you say Elden Ring is right behind it? When Horizon Forbidden West and Elden Ring have the same amount. Why wouldn't you say Horizon Forbidden West and Elden Ring are right behind God of War? See, it's that narrative shit we keep talking about. Mm-hmm. And the more you see, you've played Horizon Forbidden West. That shit deserves the awards that it's getting. And I will say oh, yeah. that the writing was much better on Horizon Forbidden West than Zero Dawn. Uh, they, they, they stepped it up, man. Like, both of these games, they stepped it up. I love the Xbox fans that call both of these games DLC. Because right. that means you just don't know what video games are. If you call these DLCs, they far from it. Far from it. It's an insult. I wouldn't even say it's an insult, bro. It's just... I, I got 37 in the birds right now, the Ravens. I think Fair there's enough. one in my area. I keep hearing it, but I don't know where the fuck it's at. Sometimes they're they're sometimes they're not flying or they're not perched in view. So you hear it, but you don't know where it's at, and you just gotta hope to God you can find it. Um, but I've been putting in work. I got 30 um 34 percent of the trophies, and um I think I got four. I got four silvers now, and that's because of side quests. You know, then I got 11 trophies, bronze. So, I've been putting in work, man. Them side quests are just amazing. Because it's not just, okay, I'm doing a side quest to get a trophy. They had that little that little blue thing that pops up to let you know, hey, you have completed the side quest. Here is this what you get, and this is the experience. And it makes it so much more rewarding than God of War 2018 when you were finishing shit. You know? it's It means something. I love it, man. I mean, that game has definitely just raised the standard of quality of what you expect out of a of a of an exclusive. Mm -hmm. Across the board, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've said it several times, and I, you know, if you choose to play on Xbox, cool, that's fine, bro. But that new game that they they came out with, and IGN gave it a ten, Perimenet, whatever the fuck that game's called. Pentiment, yes. Yeah, yeah. Come on, G, stop. Stop. We get oh. God of War. Mm -hmm. We get no. We're, we're getting quality of a God of War, and you guys are getting a goddamn side scrolling book. What the? You're getting a fairy tale book. Mm -hmm. Let me put it this way: the art or whatever that art style is in Pentiment is what the books look like that tell the lore of Norse mythology. Because you know I've been doing a lot of research of Norse mythology while playing this game. Every name that comes up, even the enemies, I'm pausing. I'm going to Google. At the beginning of like a little boss battle or some shit. I'm pausing. I'm going to Google. Who is this? Who is it? Oh shit, that's who that is? And I was like, bro, what the fuck? Man, I I know that's not your style, Yella, but you would it would just amplify your experience like Oh my God, that's who that just random person is. I was like, bro, that shit, man. I can't, I've never done that in any other game. And I've never been that amazed by it. Like, because most games don't do. I can only imagine what the budget for this game was because they just went all out. They, oh, it was up there. Bro. It was up there. It was, it's higher than your hairline. It was up there, bro. Why? Well, yeah, definitely higher than my hairline. I'm just praying to the Xbox guys to corrupt your fucking uh, hard drive in the PlayStation. Oh god, mm. bro! So I I down I pre-installed fucking Modern War uh, Modern Warfare Warzone 2.0. Fucking Christ! You saw it right? That's 110 gigs. <laughs> For what? Shit, on PC, try, they, they charging them 170 gigs. I'm saying, I, I put it on my fucking PC. Oh, fuck. I'm going to give it a try, but like I said, that's my expectations are Let me know up. if anything's... I don't think it's worth me downloading. My humble opinion, bro, no. No. I just downloaded two of uh two of the new games we got on Plus. 
and um, one's a game trial, and the other one is a game that I didn't even think they were going to give us, and it was on there, and man, this, this service is just, man, all I'm going to say, Yellow, we are blessed. We are mm -hmm. blessed. We are blessed to be alive, uh, to have our arms and heads and everything, and just be, just, we are blessed, but on PlayStation, we just eating so good. We eating good, man. We so fat that's over here. That's an understatement, bro. Goodness, man. We getting treated like kings, man. Like emperors. Well, but again, you got to put in perspective. We're getting treated like that because what has happened? Oh, well, yeah. The company decided to invest in themselves because they were putting out quality shit from back in the 90s. Yeah, true. Everything has basically came to fruition of what we got now due to the fact of what they basically have been applying past several generations. When you got the Xbox coming in <laughs> with their Battletoad haircuts. And this nigga uh, sound like Goofy. A little warmth out there. Oh, God. <laughs> My name is Aaron Hamburger. Hey, bro. <laughs> Stop that. I'm just being honest, bro. <laughs> You buy a brand new console to do what? To play brand new fucking games, bro. Look. Y'all niggas over there capping for some goddamn But see, there you go. Xbox they buy a brand new system, $500, just to get on Twitter to talk about the game system that they could be playing. They could be enjoying. They set themselves up for disappointment time and time you again. Why, you want to know why they're more, more on Twitter more than anything? Because their keyboard doesn't take fucking batteries to goddamn uh, allow them to fucking... Put their little oh, irrelevant yeah, ring. Come on, G, a five hundred dollar console. You still selling a giving your consumers fucking the option of double A batteries? Then you turn around and have a partnership with Duracell pushing out commercials, like yeah. fucking battery exclusive to Xbox. Man, come on, G, stop. Look, no, man, we know bro. that in that business you have people that are skilled at spinning things and making things da damage controlling. And I won't say Microsoft hasn't been very good at doing that because they have definitely convinced their fan base to protect them through all the lack of games and stuff that they haven't gotten they protected they, they they convinced their fans to protect them to buy an xbox series s they don't care where you play their fucking games how do you have a top tier teraflop system okay that you you xbox will fucking hyping up as it's the second coming of Christ and then that company f fucking promotes the Xbox Series S more than it does the X and it's underpowered yeah. and it's the lowest common denominator in the fucking skill tree when it comes to the bow fucking consoles of this current generation I don't know I got an Xbox One X upstairs and I got my S downstairs but I play my S more than I do my X like, come on you, you ain't even making no fucking logical sense no. I mean, having an Xbox in your house, that doesn't make sense at all. I mean, that's subjective, but for me personally, bro. No, I'm just saying, like, we're two years in. I'm, I'm, You know, if you're talking about past tense, I can agree. But if you're talking about right now and you have an Xbox in your house, there's no way you're capping for shit. You haven't gotten anything. It's 11 months in. You haven't got shit. <laughs> You, didn't they, they stop getting games in November? December? Mm -hmm. Was it November or December of last year? I can't, bro, I can't even remember, to be honest with you. It was know. probably around the holidays. I think it was around the holidays. So, I mean, we get to January, you gone a whole month. Sorry, you went, went a whole year without games. There's nothing to really justify you owning that system in your house. Yes, give it away. It's always available. You know, I don't know if you watched my short video of me went going to uh, Walmart. That shit's available. It's available. Especially the S. You can trade that shit in, and when games come out, you can go and buy that shit again. Tiny kids. Is that well, the tiniest? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell because I already know the other ones are older. Yeah, she wants to watch Peppa Pig, so... <laughs> There you go. I mean, that was a game that the Xbox grown men, older than you, were hyping up. Like, bro, come on, man. It's crazy, man.
<laughs> Arcane said the goofy voice had him die. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all be doing those voices, man. <laughs> that was my first first time talking to Yellow. He had a damn voice on radio voice. And I'm like, who the fuck is this dude? What is what is he doing over here? He Kick me the fuck up out of there too. <laughs> yeah, that was like, what? Who is this? This ain't no radio station, bro. I'm just saying, I can't stop anybody from doing the wrong thing. Trust me, I'm not trying to. But I can try my 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 best to give you some advice. And when you fuck that's up, that's on you. That's on you. I'm, all I'm saying is that Xbox obviously doesn't have anything. Other Xbox fans agree that you haven't had anything for a whole year. So what was the whole point of having an Xbox collect dust I'm hoping you dusting that shit off. And and when I say dusting that shit off, you guys don't understand how important it is to clean your systems at least once a month or more. Please clean your systems, man. That shit collects dust. Even when you think you're not having it in a dusty area, it collects dust. Shit collects Bro, dust. When I, when I worked at GameStop, this is during the PS3 era, I had somebody bring in the old school piano black OG first wave of PlayStation. You know, the left door pops up. You got your card readers. Yeah. Four USB ports and front and shit. Bro, this shit look, literally looked like it was a fucking vacuum. And it came to the point where it was like, I want to trade this in. I said, well, I got bad news for you, buddy. I ain't touching that. Well, why not? I'm not touching that, bro. Like, that nigga had so much dust built around the fucking vents. Like, literally, like, he had mm-hmm. that shit sat on the carpet. And everybody just chain smoked for, like, mm-hmm. fucking oh, God. six, eight oh, months in God, that bitch. No. It was disgusting. You saw those videos of people trying to make it seem like PlayStation got a bad system because that shit got roaches in it. Nigga, no, that's once, once you throw. bought that shit, that's your responsibility. You let Every roaches go in your hey. fucking game system. That's you, man. That that, that means you dirty. Like that. Yeah, that piece didn't come out the box like that. The exactly. You just, you just really just snitching on yourself. Like, dudes be putting videos up. You saw them, right? I know you saw the video. We talked about this before. Oh, yeah. They be putting videos up on the internet thinking that's going to make PlayStation look bad. It's your house. And then your camera's not zoomed all the way in on your console so we can see the dirty-ass house that you're living in. Bro, make sure if you're going to show shit, make sure your shit look good. Don't, nah, man, don't do that shit. Don't embarrass yourself. You having a roach and dust in your system is almost always your fault, not the system. Exactly. I see people in our community put their the, the their game system on the floor, and I just I'd be like, Nah, bro, I wouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. Bro, I, look, I got that. my well, my setup. You see my setup, right? But I got my my tower sitting under my desk. Okay, mm-hmm. but as soon as I made the decision to put it under my desk so I can have more real estate, right? I bought a fucking PC riser or a tower riser, and what that is is it's a you know a device that allows my console to be or my my computer to be on the floor, but it's not on the floor. Mm. You know, what I'm saying so it's a riser. It's it's not it's not playing the role of a fucking vacuum at the end of the day. But yeah, man, how many times I've seen people fucking have their consoles sitting on the fucking floor or on the floor upside down just because they don't know how to put a disc in properly? Yeah, I know. It's crazy, man. <clears throat> so I wanted to say something. I had an epiphany when you were talking. And then when I, uh, I think Arcane has said something. Yesterday, it looked like we got some information that there was there's a game out that has better resolution on the Xbox One X Versus the Xbox Series S. And I'm trying to find out what category that's in. I think it might be in gaming news. It's funny because you talked about this so much. About the Xbox One being better than the Xbox Series S. Ah, there it is. I try to tell you, bro. You know, like I said, they, they, they're <clears throat> finesse fucking customers, bro. I found it. It's loading in now. It's a game from Focus Entertainment, and I think Focus been on a roll this year. Focus has published a lot of games. Focus Entertainment, Focus, 
Zoom. Uh, come on. Um, what game is this? Okay. Oh fuck. Hey, Yala. What up? This Hi, is bro. this is Evil West. Got you. So here we go. The Xbox One X is gonna be playing Evil West at 2160p at 30 frames per second. The Xbox Series S is going to be playing Evil West at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Look, bro. When we write, we write. Y'all have been saying this for months, for years. The Xbox One X got discontinued because it was going to make the Xbox Series S look like it is. Like a piece of shit. Um... From what we're from what we're understanding, is that the Xbox Series S will not be able to play Evil West at 60 frames. If you get the game on the Xbox Series X, you can play the game at 2160p at 30 frames quality mode, 1080p 60 frames per second performance mode. PS5 is going to give you the option to play the game at 2160p 30 frames per second quality mode, and also 1080p 60 frames per second performance mode. So the game has parity as much as they tried to, but when it came to the Xbox One X, they were able to get that shit to do 2160p at 30, which is what next-gen consoles are doing for quality mode. The Xbox Series S has no modes. It's just 1080p 30. That's crazy. That is That's crazy. But at the same time, what are they promoting, though, bro? Next-gen. 1080p 30 is next year? <laughs> no, but what I'm saying, what's what's Microsoft primarily promoting besides Game Pass, bro? Xbox Series S. Make it make sense, bro. I can't. And I want to, but I really don't want to. But they were <clears> talking <throat> about fucking, you know, teraflops and how powerful the X was going to be before it even released. And then when it comes out, they buck fucking gates trying to swing with their fucking decapitated knuckles. Xbox Series S. I don't S. think a lot of people talking about this, and I don't think a lot of people they need to talk about this. I will be posting this right now. We need to talk about this. This is something important. We've all said this, though. We've all known this. Whether we said it publicly or not, we all knew that Xbox One X was a powerhouse, and I respected that system as a powerhouse. Look at that shit right there. Most powerful house all you want, but if you ain't got no motherfucking games to push that motherfucker, what's the point of even owning it? Niggas about to be confused when they look at it. I guarantee you a lot of people about to look at this shit multiple times. <laughs> Xbox One... There we go. Xbox One X versus Xbox Series S. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that shit, bro. Look at, like, you got... Bro. Nigga, bro. That is... That is... That is straight ass. And not the good type. That's Rikishi stink facing you, bro. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> it's not no video vixens. No... no only fan models. That's a, that's Rikishi. That's modern day Rikishi sitting on you. Stop, Luna. It stinks. <coughs> Goodness, man. Damn, that's some sad ass shit. Y'all have been saying this shit for a while. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I rem you were just now saying this shit maybe a few weeks ago. The tiniest of kids. Okay, there we go. Um oh oh let me hashtag this. Hashtag Resolution. 
Action. There we go. And I think that's perfect. I'm going to go post this right now on my Twitter because it needs to be seen. And I need mo motherfuckers to talk about this because this is, this is fucking embarrassing. That's embarrassing. They let the last gen system outdo the supposed next gen system. Mm, mm, mm. What's going on, Darkness Winds? Uh, John Patisse, you say, um, John Baptist. Okay, that's your name, John Baptist. John Baptist, you say, Sonic Frontiers doesn't have a 60 frames per second on Xbox Series S. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That, like, I mean, a lot of developers are either saying this in private or saying this publicly now. And they're confirming what we already know. And what we know is that the Xbox Series S is holding everybody back. It's holding everybody back. I don't know what to do or say about it. This is an Xbox community problem. And if they don't speak up, nothing's going to happen. Yeah, I don't know. I'm looking at Joseph Woody uh post on Twitter. He says uh he said he doesn't he really do, they really didn't put Spider Man two as the most anticipated game. Yeah, I agree. I mean I can understand Zelda, Final Fantasy sixteen, Hogwarts Legacy, Resident Evil four. I can understand that. Starfield Starfield was already one of the most anticipated games and on that list because it's been coming for a while. So I feel like they should have made way for Spider-Man. But again, this is one of the things me and True Woody have been saying. Sony has not actively promoted Spider-Man 2 all year. So <clears throat> some of these award shows might not know if Spider-Man is, you know, coming out next year. It doesn't have a release date for next year, a month. Or anything so I think they just want to wait and be sure if it's uh, actually coming out <clears throat> it's gonna be a crazy 2023 mm, mm -mm. oh shit That's awesome. You learn, I learn shit new every day, man. Hmm. But uh, as you were saying, Jay, ain't nothing going to change with that stable, bro, because all it is is a shit ton of damn casuals mm -hmm. that don't know shit about gaming and just the diehard Xbox fans. There you go. When, when you have that type of uh, idiotic fan base, people that are clueless on a casual level, people that purposely ignore shit on a hardcore level, nothing gets done. No one's get corrected. No one's held accountable. So... Nothing changes. It only gets worse. Xbox fans at this point aren't even telling Microsoft what they want. Outside of acquisitions a few years ago, that was the only time when they actually stood up together and told Xbox what they want. Now, they don't know. They know they want to be like PlayStation, but then again, are they going to act like PlayStation gamers? Right? They want the high quality games, but are their fan base really going to buy those games? 
Or are they going to subscribe to the subscription service and a huge multitude of numbers between now and then so they can make actual money off of these high quality games? Because that's the real that's the real question. If you bring out AAA games, if they're not going to sell, do people boost those subscription numbers so you can make enough money to cover your losses? My answer is no. Because it hasn't happened at all. Xbox has always been in the black. It's been in a fucking black hole since Game Pass came out. You have to pay people to put shit in your service day one. That's way more money than paying a old paying a developer to put an old game in your service. And you would they were doing this for like two, three years straight. It's only this year where they wasn't really getting like major titles in their uh in their service. Uh-huh. But you see, they had to slow down at some point. That endless wallet ain't so endless anymore. <clears throat> so uh, Phil Spencer was like, uh, "They make most of the, uh, Activision makes most of their money on PlayStation. It would be stupid for them to take the game off of PlayStation." They basically saying Xbox fans ain't gonna support this series like y'all are, so we don't, we got no reason to take the game off of PlayStation if the ac- acquisition goes through. But we already well, know that's bullshit. Yeah, but from what I'm hearing, bro, that it sounds like that acquisition is not going through. No, mm-hmm. UK ain't gonna sign off, and the United States obviously not signing off. It's a seven billion dollar acquisition. That's a lot of money. Like, nigga, look, you want to support, man, nigga. About to buy Activision for seven billion, seventy billion dollars. You can feed niggas in this country, bro. But even with that, bro. Fuck. On a, on, on a realistic topic, just because you want to buy that, what are you gonna do with it? There you go. They know what they know. What, what, are, you gonna, go, what are you gonna do with that purchase? They know what they gonna do with that shit. They gonna use that shit to market everything Xbox. Because here, here here's the thing, though. How much money did Call of Duty make? Like, I don't know, like a billion in a day or something. Okay. So they made a billion in a day, right? Mm hmm. No, you don't play the game. I, I salute. You, you, you lose more brain cells playing that game than you actually yes, have you fun. Of. Okay. But I'm telling you right now, that game is utter fucking dog shit. Goodness. The sole, the sole purpose of people even buying that game is to play multiplayer, they don't care about the fucking story. They just care about running, gunning, jumping, diving, shooting, jumping, diving, shooting, camping, hit your, camping, hit your stuff with a, a stem shot so you can fucking run around like you're cracked out. You know what I'm saying? God damn. Oh, dude, 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 fucking, I dropped the meat. I got, I got 20 <laughs> chills, bro. Dude, hey, mom, 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 more Mountain Dew and Tortino pizza rolls. I need to get this fucking XP, bro. That's the Call of Duty community, dude. That is literally the Call of Duty fucking hey, community. Man. Hey, you guys. <laughs> but I, I'm being dead serious, bro, because when, when it comes oh, down to shit. it, those simple minded Call of Duty individuals. No, I didn't buy a Verge. I played it. Dude, I game share with bought it, but I, I ain't supporting that trash. Um, But uh, no, bro, how did that game make all that fucking money when that some bitch has lack of content and nothing new to bring to the motherfucking table? It is literally the same game that you bought during PS3 360 era of Modern Warfare. Mm. You're right. You're right. That's fucked up, man. Let me go. uh... Y'all know where my mind is. My mind is not here. <laughs> My mind is stuck in Ragnarok. <laughs> and I can't wait to end this stream to go back and play that game. I appreciate everybody here. And I love spending time with y'all. And I would spend the whole day with you. If this game wasn't sucking me back in like Jumanji. Like for real bro. This game has a fucking hold on me. And I just can't get it out of my head. God. Mm.
shit about to be so good. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. Feed me, I'm poor. Darkness wins. God damn, darkness. Nah, but I'm serious. Like, Sorry. $70 billion, you can do a lot with that. You don't need to buy but, uh, with that. I had to tighten some kids up over arguing for nothing. I already know. I no, bro. <laughs> um, no, it's to the point where, you know... The, the 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 casuals are complacent with the with the dog shit that they that they give them, bro, and it just baffles me that that studio can make that much fucking money and be that lazy. Excuse me, with the development. But that's what that we game. were talking about for years now. And people how do they do make that much money, but not did. do what you should be nothing. doing with that money? Yeah, they they did nothing. It was lazy as shit. Doesn't even have a hard, hardcore mode. But again, I don't care about Nigga. the multiplayer. Listen how, that, la- that, listen how lazy they are. They got Aaron Greenberg in charge of marketing. All they do is lie and pander Game Pass. Aaron Greenberg still in charge of marketing. Still. That's your boy, man. This shit ain't got to change. That nigga went to your barber and got the motherfucking battle toes goddamn bled up in his goddamn scalp. <laughs> you know what, bro? My barber wouldn't do that shit. <laughs> Yo, he that found somebody. Battle Toads logo shaved in his head. Bro. And his shit was bleeding, bro. You Literally know what was so funny head. though? They was seriously capping for Battle Toads. Bro, so was your boy Fatal. That nigga was capping too. I don't cap for everything, bro. He take more L's than he want to admit, but he capped for a lot of shit, Shut bro. Up. Shout out to my Canadian brother, Fatal. Fuck Good. you, bro. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> he, be, he capped for a lot of them, gang. I'm pretty sure he capping for Pentamin. He probably playing Pentamin right now. <laughs> <laughs> he, he probably oh, play, and he probably enjoying it too. Shit, yeah, but I can I can uh, listen. I can respect Fatal because he plays those games he caps for. The other, his other brothers and sisters, they don't touch them game, but they cap for it. Mm-hmm. I'll best believe they gonna be capping for it. Man, they love Pentiment. Pentiment got an eighty six on Metacritic. They love that shit. They love it, but they ain't playing it. They hey, not teach their own, teach their own brother. But you can't sit there and say, "Hey, fucking this 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 whole wheat toast with no." No butter, no nothing on it. It's so fucking delicious, bro. I mean, it's fucking delicious. I swear it's so delicious. Bro, you, I'm, that shit bland as fuck, bro. What are you talking about? And you got, You're talking about I'm toast. I'm talking about yeah, bread that you put in a toaster, but you forgot the toaster wasn't even hooked no, up. I'm, I'm being dead serious. That's and you like dropped it on the ground. To, that's nasty. That's like Fatal trying to tell everybody fucking whole wheat toast with no, no butter, no nothing. Just dry ass bread in your mouth with nothing to drink. It's so fucking good. I'm like, no, bro. No. No. No, no. Shout out to Fader, though. I ain't got no hard feelings towards Fader. No, no. I mean, he's a real one because the games he capped for, he play them and he complete them. So he on a different Mm -hmm. level than them. But they, the other people, they will cap for a game, turn off the live stream, turn off the the Twitter spaces, uh, log off of Twitter, and don't even touch it. Like, again, you know, we've, a lot of people in our community, we've been looking at, people's trophies we've been looking at people's achievements and we found out xbox fans be capping for shit they do not touch that's why if you know shit didn't happen and i was even talking to the xbox community you know what i'm gonna do i'm like oh yeah you, you like pentiment you playing it can you show me some gameplay i want to see you enjoying it no nah, i want to see the report card shit i want to see I want to see the report card. What, 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 what do you mean report card? Let me see your gamer profile, so bro. Tr- let me, uh, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, bro. Yo. You a father. And you got kids running around. Is it bad of me to put on Pentiment knowing that you might fall asleep? Yes. I'm going to do it. Because truthfully, I think you would probably fall asleep playing that shit. I'm not going to play it. I'm going to watch it, though. But I don't want to go to sleep. I got shit to do. I got to save the nine realms, motherfucker. Hey, but... You know. Shit. But let's, uh... Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do a test. Let's do a test. This is going to be a fuck... I love doing this shit. So, our test 
today is going to be like our normal test. We're just going to put the word Pentiment on YouTube and see how many people are live streaming it right now. And then we're going to go over to Twitch. And, um, yeah. Pentiment. Yeah, Andrew Wilkins, like I said, I, I ain't got nothing against Fatal, but, you know, through the engagement, just me having a conversation with him, some of the stuff he was saying, he was just blowing smoke out of his ass. <laughs> um, so I, cho I chose not to uh, to engage in the conversations of sometimes of him speaking. I just let him say what he had to say, but, you know, everybody so, ain't come from the same problem. Alana yeah, Pierce, you know, that works for Sony Santa Monica now, is the only person in the last 24 hours that played the game on YouTube. Everything else in the last 24 hours was just re reviews or um, like a trailer, but nobody else played it. Oh, oh here we go. X Cage Game also played it nine hours ago. Atlanta Pierce played it three hours ago. Um, yeah, run that shit. Doesn't matter who ran it, man. Fucking run that shit. Let me see what that motherfucking it. badass is looking like. Let's run it. Run it. Got me at the edge of my seat right now. About to fall asleep. God damn it. I just want everybody to know it is not my intention to put you to sleep, but it is my intention to educate you on how fucked up Xbox fans are. We know. I wouldn't even say. I wouldn't even hold on, Jay. Hold on, hold on, Jay. I wouldn't even say Xbox fans, bro. These enthusiasts. That's a that's an insult. You're enthusiasts um, of comic fanboy. books and Batman, and I respect that. No, 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 no. These are just fanboys. Can we call them fanboys? I'm not calling them gamers. I'm just calling them fans. <laughs> Bro, you know how big of a you know, bro. Like you said, bro, you know how big of a Batman fan I am. You I would know, call, I would call them fanboys. Don't I, I? won't call them gamers. I won't call them fans. Listen, I listen, call listen, them listen, fanboys. Listen, listen, listen. What did I tell you about uh, Gotham Knights? Uh, you you told me it was gonna be dog shit. Mm hmm. And I knew it. And I and I told yeah, you that you know, it was I, gonna be. Uh, yeah, we already we already had the conversation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but I'm just saying like it's. Face value, bro. If you've been gaming long enough, bro, you know what's going to be a good game and you know what's not. And this shit ain't it, bro. This shit is not it. This is not a reason to say, hey, let me spend $500 I want, on this fucking I want you experience. to open your heart to Pentiment. Hmm. I like the way you said that. That was kind of the way it rolled off. Mm -hmm. Very passionate. That was very passionate. I, I like know. that. I know. But for real. Let's 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 see let's let's I'm gonna I'm let's do a challenge let's do a challenge for everybody right I'm going to see how long we all can watch this Jesus fucking Christ man this nigga literally is using a rock as a cursor Don't worry about it I'm gonna see how long we can watch this before somebody says just stop the video <laughs> I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna put my timer on No 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 not yet Let I'm me exploded. Let me start the timer. Okay, we're starting the timer. There we go. Let's let's see what we can do. Um, should we? Is, I mean, do we? Is, is this the game yet? Or do we fast forward? What is this? Oh, this is the this the um that's like the beginning credits or whatever. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, let's see what's going down on the going downs. Okay, well, we're uh, 38 seconds in. Looks like we're doing good. I can be honest and say that I'm cheating. I'm on the internet doing any and everything else but watching the TV. But, uh, You're an asshole, Jay. <laughs> I mean, I could try. I mean, I'm, I'm trying. It's just as boring as shit. I mean, nothing that I'm looking at right now lets me know that this <clears throat> is a video game. It looks like those old school, before our great-great-grandparents were born over in old England, this looked like one of them books. Do you, question, did, did, is there dialogue upon the, the contents of these conversations, or do you have to read them? I'm hearing little mouse squeaks. I'm not hearing any dialogue. Conversations are you got to read them. I'm hearing little mouse squeaks. I'm not hearing any dialogue. Conversations are you got to read them. I'm hearing little 
Mouth. There's an echo. Who got that echo? It was me. Oh, okay. My fault. It's all right. Um, he was in the settings before he started the game, and it said something about like, uh, like a voice reminder or whatever. So I thought there were gonna be voices, but I thought there were voices in this game. But from from right here, you're you're if there seems to be no voices. This seems like a bad joke. And what's f- fucked up about it is people like IGN went out and gave this shit a 10 out of 10. I'm going to go to Metacritic real quick. Last time I saw it was 86. Which means these niggas almost gave that shit a fucking 90. Yeah, that shit's still sitting at an 86. <clears throat> What I love is that it wasn't nominated for jack shit. That's what I love. And that's pissing off a lot of Xbox fans. Because they thought that they were going to be able to get a sympathy vote. Yep, it's one point less than Bayonetta. Which is 87. And then God of War Ragnarok is a 94. Sonic is sitting at a 72. I knew Sonic was going to be bad. We're, We're at three minutes now. Let me go check the chat. It doesn't look like anybody has screamed to stop this yet. We've lasted three minutes, people. Congratulations. We're doing it. It's a whole boat of Xbox clowns. There's no way a grown man can play this and say this is good. Like, if you like books, yeah. I mean, I like books. I read I read a passage from the Bible every morning now. And I love reading. Um, And I have, uh, like, about one or two books that I'm reading now. But, you know, I don't know if I like books enough to buy a game or play a game that's, like, basically a book. So certain type of passion projects need to stay hidden. So this is like a motherfucking con- like concept art type of shit. Like that. They probably look like they spent like four hundred, five hundred dollars on this shit. <laughs> like, this is cheap. How much does this fucking game cost? How you like the water, Jay? Do you? Did you just ask me how I like the water in this fucking book? It's it's a fucking book of what? What? Get this guy out of here. Kick him out. Right there. That one. Oh my god. This nigga asked me how do I like the water in Pentiment. Goodness. I mean it's a fucking book. I've looked at a lot of books. I, I've, I've got. I've looked at picture books when I was younger. Comic books. If I'm grading this on the art. It's it's not that good. No, it's not at all. I've seen better art in the cartoons. Me and Yellow obviously grew up watching in the 80s and 90s. Even some of the cartoons in the 70s and even before them were better. Like Tom and Jerry and and, and uh, um, Scooby-Doo and Flintstones and Jetsons. I, I, I believe that this is bad. This is very, very bad. <laughs> oh, I know most of the shit y'all saying is jokes, Ty HD. Nobody can seriously look at what I'm looking at and just say, "Yeah, this is real good, bro." Yeah, yeah, this this game of the year. I can't, man. I can't wait to play Pentiment. I can't wait to get home and play Pentiment. Most of the niggas saying this, they got kids, they got wives, they got responsibilities, they got bills, they got all this shit. They ain't worried about playing this dumbass game after work. 
Hell no, bro. What I look like? Shit. And there's a game that I'm playing that's similar to this, like more of a sim, a simulator type of game, and that's um, Story of Seasons, the Harvest Moon remake. And that's way better than this shit. This nigga said he wearing a skirt over PJ. <laughs> hey, bro. But that's what I want to say. Everybody that said that ain't post gameplay. Kid Smooth playing God of War. He's not playing Pentiment. If you don't think I'm telling the truth, I can go take a look at his fucking PlayStation account oh, right I'm now. Fuck who's telling the truth, bro. The truth is in the pudding with the goddamn content that's being displayed on the screen. Hey, don't compare pudding to are this you, fucking game. No, pudding bro, is actually buying, good. Are you buying a $500 console to play this motherfucking passive-ass dog shit? Or are you buying it to play a motherfucking quality of a God of War? Seattle Chef, that's the surprise. This is the gameplay. This is the game. This is what you do. <laughs> you read. So you can get a book from the library for free. You, you want to read? Open up Twitter and just read. <laughs> Go to a website and read. You can't click the responses. <laughs> Shit. God damn, bro. Have y'all had enough? If you if you haven't had enough, we can go for a record of 10 minutes. We've been watching this for 8 minutes and 30 seconds now. So, you know. If you guys want to keep going, we can keep going. Tinky winky bullshit. <laughs> hey. Hey. I'd rather watch the Teletubbies from back in the day than this shit. Nigga. Bro. I had fucking basic, K uh, basic TV on my fucking TV in my bedroom when I was younger. I was watching everything that I could watch. I would be watching PBS. Then when that shit go off, I go hop over to WB and watch uh, Simpsons. And then when that go off, I hop to Fox and watch King of the Hill. Shit, I had a whole good ass schedule when I was younger. Then I hop to UPN on, on Thursday and watch SmackDown. Damn, bro. Fuck this shit. Gar oh, I, then um, sometimes after school, Digimon would be on. Or if I would, got home from school fast enough, I'd go to UPN and watch Gargoyles. And what else? Yu-Gi-Oh! was on after school. Shit, all of that shit had better art than this. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Hey, Yellow, you remember that cartoon with the mummies? No? Okay, yellow, yellow fell asleep. This is uh, this is the game. This is the game. This is what you do. <laughs> Andrew Wilkins y'all crazy is there voice acting or just text I mean I got the TV up somewhat and I'm not hearing any voices I'm it looks like it's just text I thought there was a narrator but I, I haven't heard anything in the last 10 minutes we've been watching this Hey, games for eternity. Cut that out. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can go find a picture book like something like this. But this is this is I don't know why they did this, man. There's no way anybody can sit up here and give this game of the year. That would be an insult to all the great games that are I'd rather use sandpaper as lotion than play this game. Damn, Andrew Wilkins. <laughs> God damn. Oh, shit. This is a good game if you're struggling to get to sleep. 
Yo, I'd rather watch Arthur. Hey, bro. Don't talk about Arthur. Arthur was a good fucking show. You know, it's better than this dog shit. It's better than fucking... What's that um other shit they had? Battletoads? They had some dog shit games on Xbox, man. No lie. We, uh... How y'all liking the game so far? Is it everything that you think Xbox is for? Like, you know, this is the game of the year for them? They, they seem to think so. Yeah, IGN said this is a masterpiece. They said this is a 10 out of 10. They compared this to God of War with their rating. I saw PlayStation games that are very artistic. And they did not give those games a 10 out of 10. So, I mean, if you can just create a, create a game that looks like this and just win 10 out of 10 review scores, then maybe PlayStation should try to put something out like this. But it's, it's unfair. It's, it's completely unfair. Shit, probably a good 100,000, 200,000, 300,000. They probably got paid something. Maybe they were promised some early review scores, um, some early review copies on other Xbox games. I don't know. But there's no way I could sit up here and say, hey, man, I'm going to give this game a fucking... 10 for what reason so I'm hearing sound effects from the animals but I'm not hearing any dialogue whatsoever I'm not hearing the narrator or anything so again the individual that's playing this it's really hard to believe that this individual is enjoying this I mean, I, I do like reading a good book or reading a long-ass message every now and then. Or I read these Bible passages every morning. But I just, I can't seriously, I can't, I just can't. I can't believe that the dude bro Xbox fanboys like this. I don't know what to tell you, man. This is anti-endorphin game. Oh, 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 that's that's horrible. I need an Xbox Series X for this. This shit looks lit. <laughs> hey, bro. I mean, hey, always mad gaming. This is their template. This is their template right now. This is the template for their their games. Just shit like this, man. Andrew Wilkins, Xbox fans don't play games to enjoy them. They play to boast their gamers, to boost their gamer scores. Too bad gamer scores aren't as respected as trophies. True. Ain't nobody give no fuck about no gamer scores. I, when I see people bro, say they got 100 in a gamer score, that don't even mean shit, bro. Gamer, gamer score, listen, bro. Gamer score used to be, um, used to have substance behind it, right? Meat and potatoes, or that. potatoes and meat. Okay, cool. No, seriously, <clears throat> gamer score has substance behind the games because again, it was Xbox version of the report card. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But bro, I'm telling you right now, my humble opinion, that shit went out the window when they had fucking gamer scores for running Netflix, YouTube. Like literally, you would get a gamer score. For apps of Netflix and YouTube in the NFL, the NFL app. Watch the Super Bowl on the NFL app on your Xbox. Boop. You get a, you would get a, a gamer score. Like, come on, bro.
Hey, always mad gaming. Are you talking about Willow the movie or the TV show? Because I might end he's, up watching he's the, talking about the movie, Jay. Huh? He's talking about the movie. He talking about the movie Willow? He's got to be, bro. No, there's, there's there's a new Disney Plus show coming out because I I don't think I'm gonna watch the show. I will rewatch no. the movie. This nigga said that somebody playing will. <laughs> you swore to a swine. Look at that. Oh, I remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh God. Okay, now I get it. I get it now. Okay, I get it now because the fucking pigs in the farm. <laughs> yeah, the only thing the nigga missing is the little stick. Yeah. Hey, bro, you, 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 okay, you got me there. You got me there. I forgot all about that. Yeah, when that, when the fucking movie starts up, that nigga is doing some farm work and shit with that fat, you know, the fat, big head motherfucker to come over there with the attitude. Oh, man. <laughs> and then they, nigga, they, they, she start getting scared when the little beast come through the fucking festival and shit. Oh, oh hey, Willow was the shit, bro. That still is. Fucking Willow was my shit. Um, the first, first two, um, chapters of Never Ending Story was my shit, too. Shit. 80s had some good-ass movies. Back to the Future, Ghostbusters. Come on, bro. Shit. I'll watch all them motherfuckers right now. For free. I would not, if somebody paid me to play this, I probably would have to decline. Mm-mm-mm. I can't take nobody seriously to say they enjoyed this game. But you can't even take Xbox serious to say you enjoyed that platform. Oh, that's that's fucked up. It's true, but it is fucked up. Bro, I'm telling they 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 lost that mojo when it when when the this after nigga the say they lost the mojo. Mm, they did. They lost the mojo after the 360 when they brought out that fucking Xbox One TV 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 TV. Bro, they lost me. I'm out. Worldwide Studios. No. I'm just waiting for everybody to admit that we should stop watching it. But we've been watching it for 19 minutes. So I'm guessing we all like the game. I'm doing other shit. I'm not really looking at this. I'm looking at the chat. Oh, which, yeah, I'm reading the chat. And I'm uh, oh, on Twitter. I can post on YouTube. Yeah. Right. Well, fuck about this damn game. I always watch 80s movies. I have an 80s movie night at my house. Damn, that's nice. That sounds awesome, bro. The 80s was fire, bro. I know we fall the drugs and shit, but the 80s was fire. Everything in the 80s was good. like The movies, the shows, wrestling, music, everything, bro. Yeah, yeah the, 80s was, the 80s was hot, man. I'd rather live in the 80s than fucking watch this shit. This nigga got... He got a thousand people to watch this piece of shit. Oh. Oh, goodness. He got 448,000 subscribers. So that's horrible. Oh, shit. Wow. Well, at least we know people don't like that. Wait up. This nigga don't have... This nigga don't be getting a lot of views. How he have, How does he have all those subscribers? That's weird. Hmm. That's weird. Okay. I mean, with 400,000 subscribers, you would expect him to at least get 10,000 views on most of his videos, but he mm, doesn't look like he's doing good. He does play some pretty shitty games. This one included. I mean, if I, I was subscribed to him and I saw him play this shit, I would definitely have to unsubscribe. Are you, Have you guys had enough? Please, like, please tell me you've had enough. We've been watching this shit for 21 minutes now. Like, have you had enough of this? Because I've, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm at my breaking point. 
Can we all agree that we want this shit to stop? Please. Give me a fucking break. Goodness. I bet y'all wish you could watch PlayStation All-Stars now, huh? How you feel about that? Let me clean the palette. What the fuck is PlayStation All-Stars? There we go. You no. just said let me clean the palette. Yes, I yes I fucking did. You're stupid. Yes, I fucking did. I said let me clean the palette. Because guess what? We gotta I would rather Y'all watch PlayStation All-Stars, the game that a lot of you guys don't like. I think you would enjoy PlayStation All-Stars compared to Pentiman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to clean the palette. Let's talk about, um, let's talk about, uh, Pentiman. So... I want to do some more research. I want to see... And track down the people that's capping for the game. Because from what I understand yesterday, Xbox fans was excited that the game got an 86 on Metacritic. So they started to cap for the game again. They had stopped talking about it, but when the Metacritic score came back, they wanted to talk about the game. So they talk about it because it has a good score. I don't think they're talking about it because it's a good game. I think we all understand that the game is poor. Like, super poor. It's like a digital book. And that's not a good thing. Because they're charging people the price of a game for what is a digital fucking book. And a boring one at that. It's, it's fucking crazy. What's the ticket on that game? You said, you said, I'm asking. Hold on a second, bro. Hold on a second. I'm gonna oh. pull up Game Pass on the computer. I'll tell you exactly how much to charge him for that motherfucker. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks for that? Oh, good. Obsidian the developers. Obsidian. Yeah, isn't that the people that made um Vegas? Fallout New Vegas? True, what do you keep Five talking about? Install size and apparently 18 hours. Of course. To beat the you gotta, you gotta read the whole fucking shit. Of course. It's probably 18. Might be longer than that, depending on how slow you read. Or if you want to read or beat the game. I feel sorry for the people that do buy the game. Like, I would definitely recommend people trying that out on Game Pass to know that it's bad. Because if you get tricked into spending $20 for that, I feel sorry for you, man. Anybody telling you that that game is fire is a fucking liar. I wish a motherfucker would. I wish I would hear somebody say that game is, that game is fire. Beautiful. That game is amazing. Mm -mm. I'd rather have a new PlayStation All Stars than Pentiment. I'm I know I'm addicted to this fucking game and I love All Stars, but let's be honest, man. Um, do you notice that every studio Microsoft picked up, they had some sort of passion project on a back burner, and then Microsoft said you can put it out, and then Xbox fans were like, "Bro, this is not what we signed up for." We thought you were going to give us your best. And they gave you their worst. Remember Bleeding oh, Edge? Bro. Oh, Jesus Christ. I know. I'm just saying, like, they picked up Ninja Theory, and they got Bleeding Edge. They picked up Obsidian, and they got Pentiment. Like, so, Jay. Mm hmm Live feed off my, uh, my Xbox app on my computer. I have 12 people online, right? You know what those 12 people are playing? Mm-hmm. Dashboard, Dashboard, NBA 2K23, PGA Tour mm. 2K23, YouTube, mm. Modern Warfare 2, oh, NBA 2K23, Apex, head. Disney Plus, Dashboard, Amazon Instant Video. I'm fucking done, bro. That shit just gave me a massive headache. That's just straight casual. 
that's just a straight casual casual capper hey bro guess what i have found this game that i played on my psp um many many years ago it was called valhalla knights and the reason why i had thought about it is because you know uh when you die in battle you go to valhalla in norse mythology so we had something something came up when me and truity and games for attorney was talking about that so i was like damn i remember valhalla knights so i'm gonna show y'all what valhalla knights look like on a psp let's say before 2010 right and y'all are gonna make y'all judgments if you would want that or would you want to play pentiment okay so i'm just gonna skip along here skip skippity scoop i want to show you what people were able to do on a psp versus what obsidian was supposed to be able to do on the world's strongest console so this is the PSP. This is a game called Valhalla Knights. It is an action adventure RPG. So, I would say similar to Dark Souls in difficulty, but not in like play style. You did get to make your own character. You did have skill tree. You did level up. You had classes. It was a pretty damn good um, action RPG. Um, but this, again... It wasn't hard for Obsidian to just actually put three-dimensional graphics and, and do that book shit or reading stuff. It wasn't hard, but they they decided to do that. That was their pa passion project. But for them to believe the Xbox community was going to accept that, that's the weird part. They they put it out for $20, but they put it on Game Pass. Like, I don't... I, again, at the end of the day, I don't understand... I don't understand. Now remember, this is the PSP. This is a handheld that was supposed to be the handheld version of the PS2. And from what I remember on a smaller screen, it was definitely that just that. It was a handheld version of the PS2. I'm going to show you a little bit of the battle. And I'm like, man, any developer could do three-dimensional graphics. I've been playing three-dimensional games since the fucking 90s, you know? And, and when I was playing them in the 2000s with, you know, DS and 3DS and, and PSP, I was like, bro, it's possible, you know? Or even on a handheld level. There's no excuse why a developer should be putting out 2D graphics if we know you're capable of 3D graphics. Even if your hardware is not. Now, the graphics weren't as good as some other PSP titles because this was a, this was a huge game. A lot of levels, lots of weapons, lots of different outfits and armors. Um... It was a grind fest to get like different armors and weapons and shit. It took some time. But man, the game, when it opened up, it opened up. Again, this is a PlayStation exclusive. They had three installments of the game. Uh, and it was hot fire. I loved it. I would I would rather play anything than Pentiment. There's no way I'm going to give that developer my attention knowing that they can do better. They're known for better works, but they put out that dog shit. I think we only lasted 25 minutes. I don't think we were all busy doing other shit, but we lasted 25 minutes. Laugh out loud. Google phones are way better than iPhone. Uh, Andrew Walker, you be saying some wild shit. I do love me some fucking... Um, Androids though. I got an Android. Always have. Phone, always in, will. In the phone realms, the iPhone is a PS5. The Android is an Xbox. Oh, that's disrespectful. <laughs> that's disrespectful. Well, go ahead and rock out with that Android. Might I'm well gonna rock out until it don't rock no more. How about that? Hmm. Hmm. What? Hmm. 
I would get an iPhone if it wasn't called iPhone. Hmm. Yeah, think about that. Hmm. The only thing I can think about is Game Pass right now, bro. Mm. <laughs> what? Like, like, what about Game Pass? Oh, everything about Game Pass, bro. Mm. It's the future. You know, nigga, I'm just up here thinking I play better games on my PSP and Vita than the games that are coming out right now on fucking the Xbox. That's some sad shit. That's some really sad shit. Goodness. I don't know what to say to y'all, man. I just feel like. Going to all these Xbox channels, knowing that they not playing Pentiment is the reason why we sh- should stop listening to them. I'm going to head on over to Twitch just real quick. We're about to get up out of here. It's already after 2, so we're going to aim for 2.30. Let's go see if anybody's playing Pentiment on Twitch. Pentiment. So, we just want the Pentiment. We have Pentiment right here. And, um... I'm gonna talk to you about the people that's playing. Content creator, content creator, content creator. Content creator, content creator. Content creator, 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 content creator. So what I'm seeing, the majority, obviously the content creator and content creator, most of the people that are like doing content creator right here also, most of the people that are doing playing pentiment they are content creators and of of either of a high quality or aesthetic of a content creator and one of the content creators i lie to you not hey afro you still here Mm -hmm. one of them got the fucking cyberpunk chair i love it so you already know what i was trying to point out you definitely getting paid to play that shit. Ain't nobody playing that shit because they want to. So, I'm just saying, man. You getting paid to play that shit. Nobody is playing that shit because they literally want to. So, if we're going to go to the highest content creators... And I'm trying to watch their live stream, but sadly, there's an advertisement for Game of the Year that's popped up. So we have to wait until Game of the Year has stopped being advertised so we can see Game of the Not So Many Years. So we can see the Game of the Past. Game of the Past! Damn, they had two of the same advertisements just pop up before I watched Pentiment. What the fuck? Sony definitely paid for that marketing. So, this is very weird. You have two people on the same stream playing this. They seem to be very educated and older. The lady has, dead serious, a piano behind her. And the guy is in a has a classic content creator setup. Gaming chair, headphones, microphone, professional microphone. Um, I'm not sure if this is the game development, Microsoft, uh, Jenner, oh, blah, blah, blah. Is that a different country? That's a different country. Yeah. That's a different country. Yeah. Hey, that's, uh, they're from a different country, but they would probably be from the country that this type of 
uh, story is based off, out of, so I could understand from a historical standpoint why they would even take this game up. But seeing as though they said something about Microsoft, so this means that they probably got paid to fucking show this off. There's a thousand people watching them play this on Twitch. And maybe it's because of the people talking and less about the game. I don't know who they are, but they must have a big audience in whatever country they're from. Germany. There you go. This is German. Okay. You got to read the whole game, bro. Basically, you're doing a book. If you wanted to read, I'm pretty sure somebody would get a book. If you really wanted to read, get a book, get a comic book, get a graphic novel. You want to read. Get something other than that dog shit. Yeah, me. get something other than this. And even if you're getting it on Game Pass, that's not an excuse, man. This is a boring ass game. People play games to have fun. They don't want to get bored. They don't want to fall asleep. Like, what do you look like playing something that's going to put you to sleep? Then just go to sleep then. Like, then just go to sleep. This is, this is just, let me see what this dude, is this dude playing it? This nigga got the motherfucking old school hat on and everything. I can already, I already know this nigga hoard herself out to Microsoft. Already know. And he got some weird ass furry fucking logo. Ugh. Let me get this dude out of here. Let me get up out of here. That's some weird old <laughs> shit. On a weird old spit. From, from what I'm understanding, a lot of people just started the game and they're in the same spot. But again, there's so many content creators. That are playing as high level content creators. It's no coincidence. That they got some money. To play this game. So they can make it look good. This game is not good. But that's what we doing now. That's what we doing now. We paying people. To ha that have a huge influence. To play boring ass games. That's what we do. That's what Xbox is all about. Illegal. What you just said is illegal. And I want to get out of here. Not because I don't like you guys, but because God of War is calling my name. <clears throat> okay? God of War is calling my name. And I need to answer. Woman, woman goes viral for sleeping with 2,000 men. What the fuck? Sleeping with 2,000? What's the whole point? What's the whole purpose? What the fuck? Why, why, why are you... Why do you gotta sleep with 2,000 men? Like, what is that even... What is... What, what are you trying to do? You trying to catch AIDS or something? The fuck? They be... Man, this generation is fucking stupid, man. It's not like... I'm not just saying it's trash. It's stupid. They just doing stupid shit. Like that dumb, that, that, that one dumb chick that was running around licking ice cream and putting it back into the freezer. Like they just doing outrageous, stupid stuff.
Yeah, outrageous, stupid shit, man. Man, that shit was crazy, bro. Boy Meets World was a damn good show. God, they had they had so many really good shows when we were younger. Wow, that was a really, really good show. That shit was crazy. Okay, we got 10 minutes together. <clears throat> and I... Ha! <laughs> you wish. I'm going to be honest, bro. I would never... And, I'm, and I mean never. Bro... I'm I'm educated enough to know what a female that slept around look like, bro. And I'm not in their fucking circle and they're not in my circle. So all I'm going to say, I don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to be honest, I don't got no kids that I know of running around. I've always used protection because I ain't trying to get no viruses and I'm not trying to have no kids that I'm not ready for. So, word to the wise, not me. <clears throat> Some of these other dudes out here, that's cool. Let them do what they do. But not me. Yeah, they uh they did reboot um and it, they called it a girl girl meets world and it flopped. Yeah. Nobody wanted to watch that shit. Let's be honest. Yeah, let's be honest. We we don't want to watch that shit. God of War Ragnarok going to sell more copies than the Bible. What the f I'm done. I'm not even going to comment on that, bro. What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> That's fucked up, bro. But I do want to watch that, that video. So, like, I'm about to go watch that shit. Oh, trying to figure out where it's at. Well, that's what happens when you fuck up. Well, that's what you get. Damn, bro. That shit's some wild shit. They said a trans influence. A trans a transgender influencer gets arrested and placed in men's jail. So it, it's a trans... It's going from transitioning from from a man to a female, but they po put that person in a men's jail because that was their original gender or whatever. That shit's wild, bro. There's a lot of wild murders out here. Deaths of four university Idaho stu students investigated as a homicide. Yeah, it looked like that was a fucking murder. It looked like people was running around murdering people. How the fuck they didn't catch that dude, but they caught the black dude shooting up the fucking college yesterday. They caught that dude. They didn't catch the white dude killing people on a campus in Idaho. That's some wild shit. 
that is that is fucking backwards. I've seen a lot of backwards shit. That shit was dope, bro. When I found out that that was the actor, I was like, man, that's awesome. Well, there you go. I already fucking knew it. They up here thinking Russia was going to pull out of Ukraine. They pulled their army out of Ukraine just so they could fucking air bomb them. Y'all thought that shit was over. That shit was not going to be over, bro. Well, try to tell y'all. Try to tell y'all. That war was not over, bro. Kratos is Zeus, uh, is uh, Zeus, Zeus anger and mythology. Just a video game character in real life. If you pray Kratos in real life or Jesus, guess who will answer prayers? Huh, okay. So you're going to stream God of War for us? Nick! Um... I'm planning on doing the, playing the game and streaming on Twitch. But if you guys want to see me stream it over here, you can watch me play it over here. But I have gotten far in the game story. I'm currently doing like a lot of side missions and shit, but I'm very far into the game. So I'm not sure how many people are going to want to watch me because I'm pretty far into the game. <laughs> okay yeah that's what i'm about to do i'm about to stream it on twitch we got five more minutes over here y'all can hit the like button before you leave up out of here <clears throat> but i'm gonna stream directly from the ps5 on twitch after this uh again we're gonna leave at 2 30 all i'm gonna do is put a couple of time stamps for this video because we were really just talking about god of war so i'll probably put a time stamp for shout outs and then our discussion, and then that pretty much be it. Not gonna do a lot of timestamps today. That shit's wild. Okay. But I need to watch so I can adjust my score. Well, you can do whatever the fuck you want, man. But I'm going to go play this game on Twitch. Quickly do these uh, timestamps. And enjoy this game. That's what I'm going to do. We got three minutes together and then I'm getting up out of here. We are getting up out of here on time from now on. You look, we gonna be at two or we gonna be at two thirty and then I'm out. Gotta play this game. I will say there's not a lot of cats in this game. A lot of birds, a lot of dogs, not a lot of cats. I've seen a lot of animals in this game to be honest.
Okay. I got a minute and then I'm I'm clicking it off. Y'all can hit the like button on the way out. I'll be on at um over at Twitch in 30 minutes. Give me about less than 30 minutes to do these timestamps and then I'm uh go over there and start playing God of War. It might be a long one. If you can't find me on Twitch, just search JTEC TV 4K60. Or JTEC TV should pop up my account. Because I've searched JTEC TV and my account pops up immediately. But if, if it doesn't, just put JTEC TV 4K60. Okay, everybody. I'm out. I will see you on Twitch in 30 minutes at 3 o'clock. It is 2.30 right now, so I will see you on Twitch in 30 minutes.